<laughs> Episode 655 of the WCB podcast. Kurt Geyer's here speaking right now as my voice. This is me. Th- that's you? That's me. This Eric? is uh, that's Eric you. Common. Yeah, this is me. Whoa. This is my voice as Doug Schmidt. The slightly, mm, you know, flamboyant voice. This is Doug. No. Mine's like the cool one. Guest co-hosting yet again, Bucky Islandfelt. What's up, brother? Hey, here from Wisconsin. They left the gate open You're again. just stacking left up the episodes gate open. now. <laughs> <laughs> then rolling around is our host from the Victory Drive podcast, Jacob Johnson, also co-hosting. Howdy. Happy to be here. Not Thanks, boys. Nice. Not Party that episode. flamboyant voice. Our guest of the hour. I've been looking forward to this episode for a long time. Cody Christian is in the WCB studio, finally. Oh yeah, we're here. It's great to be here. Kind of the guest of the weekend, right? Yeah, you are the you're like yeah. the you're the shining star. You're mm. famous. You're the guy. Ah, it's no pressure, man. <laughs> so first of all, <laughs> <laughs> underwhelming <laughs> intro. But uh, thank you for thank you for being here. Um, you have played the last two years of the Illinois Deer and Beer Fest. Yeah, we thank you for that and the band. Oh, dude, thank you. And I'll be the first to get the the gay stuff out of the way, man. Thank you for having us out here to the Deer and Beer Festival past two years and out here for this shoot. Yeah, the shoot, yeah, man. Shoot. No, I, any any excuse to come to the Midwest, man, I do appreciate it. All right, let's, let's just kick this off. I want to talk about how we got connected, because that's like the most important thing we need to talk about, mm-hmm. I believe. It's mm-hmm. pretty important. Yeah. And then I want to get into some other stuff after that. So everyone likes a good origin story. Sounds like a plan. So this will start out. This is basically the intro to the introduction of us to you. Right. So whoa, intro to an intro. We're going to talk about why you're mm-hmm. here, and then we're going to talk about who you are after why you're here. Sounds like a plan. Because I feel like I this like is it. first and foremost, right? With WCB and Cody Christian connection. Absolutely. I actually went back today just to look at the dates, and it was like day of we talked. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah. So it's your anniversary. Um, well, I mean, d- not today. Day, oh. the yeah. day of what we're going to get to. Yeah. Right so on. my rebirth. <laughs> this would have been 20. I don't know what year. Uh, it was 2021. 2021. December. I had. Ninth. I was, I had put the, basically the two weeks in at John Deere. My dad had passed away in April of that year, I believe, right? This is the timeline. It's a very foggy time frame for me. I had this whole big kick in the nuts of life is short. Fuck it. You can always get another job if you have to. Fuck everything that's going on if you're miserable. Like, I'm going to die before retirement anyway. Make moves now. I was very not in a, a well mental place, but maybe, arguably, the most mentally well place. I don't know. Mm-hmm. Probably not mentally well. Still not, maybe. <laughs> but uh, maybe not mentally well, but you're thinking clearly. I, who knows, you know, right? It's right? A, it's the perception of what situation you're in when you're in it. During all this time, talking with Eric, Eric's partner at WCB with me, and and basically, I got kicked in the balls, and I'm like, it's, it's we're at a pivotal point. We're making moves, right? Yeah, and we're kind of at our at a peak with a. Without one of us going. And fun that. fact, that year we over doubled our downloads. Yep. After that, mm. um, which is very, which was like, oh, thank God, it made oh. sense, you know. Yeah. First <laughs> going the other way. Woo. Yeah. 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 The first yeah. couple months we were kind of sweating, but so it worked out. During this time, one of our really great friends from out east, Sean Polk, worked for a company, and Sean's a really great friend. Has been out here hunting, stayed with us, stayed at my house before we had the studio. Actually, mm-hmm. um, he's on Team WCB. He worked for. The same company that Cody worked for. I ne- I had never heard of Cody before this. I get a call from Sean. Sean goes, dude, you got to hear about this. I'm going to send you a copy of this email. <laughs> this got sent company-wide. And basically, he connected me with Cody, and this is where you take over. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, do you want to tell me about like the setting up the email kind of thing or Well, he basically, yeah, I want you to, I want you to get to it. But he gave okay. me like, dude, you got to hear about this. This is badass. It's the same time you're doing it. You guys somehow need to get connected to see what we can do. Yeah. I didn't know that we were so aligned in our timelines. Yes. That. Oh, you didn't know that part? Across I mean, path. I think I do remember you saying that like All intertwined. You know, yeah, I'm about to go full-time with this thing too. 
So, I mean, I guess I did know. I just forgot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was, I just remember talking yeah. about it. it. Now that I'm working through things, yeah, you know, it, I did know. The yeah. co- that's that's why I said that. Like, that's why I gave that build up. Like, the coincidence of the two week notice. Yeah. We were just meant to be together. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> just a love marriage yeah. of um, mentally unstable, quitting a consistent job. Hey, did you yeah. just quit your job on a whim without really thinking about it? <laughs> well, me too. <laughs> Sick. Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah. yeah. You have low self esteem. <laughs> <laughs> me too, brother. Let's do this. Yeah. 100%. <laughs> so that's where he sent me what you had sent. Right. To your company. Yeah. Reply, reply all. <laughs> yeah. That's a bold move, so I had been working uh, at a shipyard in Newport news for eight and a half years. Uh, you know, I didn't do the college thing too well, uh, so I got into the apprentice school there, did that thing, and uh, I'd always been playing music, and I mean, at some point, you know that if you're going to make this happen, it's going to take everything that you got, and uh, it's hard to do to, when you have a full-time job. So I'd always had that in the back of my mind, but I didn't know when the time was going to be, and uh, you know, working there as long as I was, man, a lot of things were going on. It was like COVID was happening and that, you know, mm-hmm. disgruntled a lot of folks. And I mean, like you, I kind of got to a point where I was like, well, I could do this forever, you know, and maybe buy a cool house and all that. But I don't like where I'm living. And uh, it kind of sucks, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Mean, yeah, playing music on the weekends is cool, but it's not as cool when you got to go to work on Monday. Right. Yeah, through Friday. Just makes everything harder. Um so yeah, and then it got to the point at the shipyard where I mean there's I it could it's a long story, but it basically Tell got, it, brother. Yeah. Well, <clears throat> All right. <laughs> Here we go. You twisted my arm. The, uh, yeah. So the union was renegotiating their contract at the shipyard. And uh, when that happens, I had recently, or the last two years that I worked there, I'd moved into a salary position, which oh. it was an office job and it sucked. It was. Were you wearing suits and stuff? Or? No, oh, okay. no, no, no. I, I mean, it was in an office, but I just drove a truck around and delivered parts, basically. But. It was soul-suckingly boring. Um, But the union was renegotiating their contract, and uh, I guess the shipyard was worried that if these guys go on strike, like, we still need to build aircraft carriers. So all the office people, we need to be prepared for you guys to to weld again, Mm -hmm. which would involve, like, getting requalified for all kinds of stuff. Uh, And for me, one of those things was to be respirator fit, um, which I hadn't been in you know, three or four years. Yeah. I wonder why. Well, uh, I've got a beard. Um, (laughs) Uh, Oh, you do. That's what that is. And I I like it. All all right. You know, I like what it's hiding. Um, (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, It looks great. My my brother always said that the beard for men is like women's push up bra. Mm, Probably. Yeah. Except what we have is actually real. Right. It actually grows well, off our body. Well, so I mean, the push-up bras is pushing them up and mm-hmm. out and no. accentuating and hiding. That ends. Hiding my double <laughs> this We grew this things. structure. Yeah. <laughs> we didn't grow a push-up bra. Yeah, you're right. right. You're God, right, you're right. God didn't give them a push-up bra. Yeah, my brother's yeah. just jealous because he can't grow God a gave us this. Well, it leads right. us to our next point. Right. Boobs are great. Yeah. Exactly. Love all boobs. <laughs> Cannot deny. Love, boobs love a good rule. boob. <laughs> That's why you really got into music. We talking goth chick boobs, and even more, and double yeah. down on the love. Man, you and Steve are just on a I've, roll with goth chick. It's funny. Yeah, I didn't. I mean, I don't get up to Illinois, and this was my first time in Iowa. I didn't know that goth chicks were uh, were such the in the corn hot commodity <laughs> out here. Oh, dude, yeah, yeah. They're they're they're, they're like a, a delicacy. Gay. You hmm. know, they're not around ever, all the time, but when they are. Yeah. You want to eat them? <laughs> what the hell? God damn it. That's actually not true. It's kind of a joke that's just gone too far. Right. It's a joke that's just okay. gone too far. Let's be Come honest. On, hey, it'll never get old. Anyway, you got to get fit for a respirator. Thank oh you, Eric. God. Yeah, so um, they start sending me back to these classes and stuff. So I'm going through welding school again and uh, getting ready. And then one of them is a respirator fit class, which means I have to be clean shaven. Um, which I don't know, man. Like, why would I shave my face for this backup plan that like this union ain't going to strike anyways? And 
I was working with people that they were dropping that respirator fit um, appointment or class or whatever you want to call it. And uh, so I did the same thing. You know, they put me in it and I just didn't go the first day. And they're like, <laughs> well, we're going to put you in it again. And then I just, sh- well, no, I didn't. I showed up to it, but I'd never, I didn't shave. So they just kicked me out. <laughs> um, yeah you can't get fit you because yeah. the hair yeah. doesn't cause the seal for the right. respirator so i showed up to the class twice you know just with my beard and they're like what are you doing <laughs> come on guy yeah you gotta figure it out here do you did you bring a razor I'm like no yeah i'm not sure so then they, they sent me back so uh before the third time though i got i guess a hr you know got a last and final warning from them they basically made me meet with this lady and say uh, that I would agree to come in clean shaven for respirator fit on this date um, or I'd be fired. And she's like, so are you going to do this? And I was like, yeah, yeah, okay. Just to buy myself three more weeks, or so, you know. <laughs> yeah. Might as well get paid while I can if I know yeah, that this Think about it for a minute. Yeah, if yeah. I know that this thing is coming to an end, you know. Yeah. <laughs> Little did you know, I actually just put my two weeks in. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, so, I mean, basically that gave me a date, you know, it's like December 9th. Like that's when you've got to, uh, you have agreed to come in clean shaven. So December 9th, I came in, I, um, a lot of people don't know this, but I was wearing my Canadian tuxedo. Like I put on my denim, my like rock and roll pants, my denim jacket. I think I, I might've had my bolo tie. I don't know. Damn. Hell yeah. I mean, I had the big cowboy hat, the glasses, I like ripped a bowl right before I went in there. Hell yeah. Fuck yeah. Which was a mistake. Um, (laughs) (laughs) It turns out. (laughs) In hindsight. I was already nervous because I'd already typed up the letter that I was going to email everybody. Because I'm like, you know, if I'm going to do this, I might as well go big. Get something out of it. I know how social media works to an extent. Yeah. You know, (laughs) sometimes you got to cause a ruckus. And uh, (laughs) yeah. So yeah, the the whistle blew, and I called my boss's boss. Um, I called him. A, I said, "You're a bitch." Uh, <laughs> you did? Yeah, I left a message though. He wasn't. He didn't answer. <laughs> <laughs> you did? You called him a bitch? Yeah. Did he even know what's going on? Well, yeah, because the day that I went, I got sent to the HR. You know, to uh, do my last and final warning thing. Like that guy, I'd never really met him before, and he, you know, introduced himself to me. Like, hey, Cody, you having a good day? Blah blah. blah. No. All the while, <laughs> all the while. No, this is before. All the while, knowing that later that afternoon, I was going to get told, like, mm. you got to do this or you're fired. So yeah, I thought that guy was a Mitch. Anyway, <laughs> say it's my face, <laughs> motherfucker. I love yeah. how you just went out so wild. <laughs> yeah, and then, but this is the worst part. So that happened, and like everybody, in, you know, that I was working around, which was like five or six people, like they were like, "What the hell?" I mean, they already knew something was wild when I showed up because I don't Canadian because the way you were dressed. Yeah, yeah right. I don't go to work dressed like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, no shit. So not normal attire. Hey, yeah. something's going down. Yeah, like, <laughs> so you roll in like that, and they're looking at you like you're Paul Kaufman. Like, what the oh, fuck yeah. is going on? <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so they heard me make that phone call, and I'm like, oh god. And I, I, mean, I told him that I quit, and uh, and then I handed my boss my badge, and then I walked out of the trailer, and I was like halfway to the gate to get out, and I'm like, oh, dang it, I didn't hit send on the email. So then I had to turn around, walk back into the trailer. <laughs> and <laughs> see everyone and like, again. <laughs> I forgot my keys. And then I ran back over to my computer, logged in real quick, hit send. And I was like, all right, it's sent. Cool. And then I walked out. <laughs> what did the email say? Um, I mean, overall, it was something to the effect of, uh, you know, whoever it may concern. Um, I've worked here for eight and a half years. This kind of sucks. Uh, I'm going to go somewhere where my facial hair is valued. Um, <laughs> I think I said I was going to be a honky tonk man. And then I think I told him good luck. Uh, and then uh, I tagged it with don't go chasing waterfalls. <laughs> TLC? Yeah. I yeah. yeah dude. I did. That was like your subject line? Uh, no, that was, I think, what was the subject line? I don't know if I had a subject line. Oh, damn. I used their memo. Um, I don't know. I don't know if I had a, that was mostly just the tag at the end, you know, good luck. But, uh, 
Yeah, so that's the day that I quit my job. And but hold decided, on, in the email, oh. I was tr- trying to look for it. You say, like, check out my album dropping. Oh, I did, yeah. I was like, I'll be, <laughs> yeah, I got an album coming out uh, later this summer. You all should check it out. It'll be available on all streaming platforms. I think I did mention that there's a rapper named Cody Christian. Uh, just make sure it's not the rapper. I think I put that in the email as well. <laughs> yeah. So how many people did what you send this to? Informative email. So it was... In reality, it was maybe like 4,000, but I think quickly it turned into pretty much everybody, which is like 30,000 people that worked there. Getting forwarded on. Oh, like, check out what this guy did. Yeah. Yeah. I still, have, I still have a lot of people to me like to this day. They're like, dude, that thing's still hanging up in, in, in our boss's office or... Like, no so shit. Funny. Like he was talking about that the other day. You know? Like he printed it out as like a... A lot of people did. Apparently it's hanging up in a lot of places. No shit. <laughs> yeah. That's, Dude, pretty, that's, that's pretty rad. That's, that's a gangster rad. move, that's man. Rad. That's pretty badass. Like yeah. Your boss's office, what what kind badass. of feelings did you have after you sent that? You walk out like, oh, what? I was what? shaking, dude. Shaking going in. Is that because you were nervous? Because yeah, you just I mean, ripped a bowl. Nervous. That's yeah, a big I mean, move. Yeah. I did. Yeah. But it was also. Well, yeah, you're done that, after that. You're done. I mean, I bought a house. You know, I'm in Newport News, Virginia. Like, that was my job. You know, but I, I mean, I'd done some math. Like, it wasn't totally reckless. I mean, I could have planned the music business a lot better, you know, but I figured I'd have time to do that. So, well, you know, part of it is taking a chance. <laughs> yeah. It's and scary, it, right? If it wasn't scary, it wouldn't be fucking right. fun and worth it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and I've always been a procrastinator anyway. So I was like, well, I'll figure it out when I need to. Um, which is about now, you know, we're, so we're, we're still figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> Turns out we're still figuring it out. <laughs> but no, nah, man, I mean, it, it was that, but it also felt good, you know, and I mean, the immediate response that I got made me feel like, all right, well, that was a jumping off point. So here we go. And now, you know. God, least, dude. <laughs> good job yeah. on oh, your part, well, brother. Well, that's, thanks, man. that's a... Cheers. Cheers that, to that. Cheers to Cody oh, cheers, Christian man. on that. Yeah, Let's cheers. Russian. Some, cheers, some Rachel and Andy White Russians. Yeah. It's like oh, a Jerry Maguire kind of. Uh, here, here. I love it, right? dude. Isn't it kind of like a Jerry Maguire? Like, you actually told them what you fucking thought. It's a dream. How many, dude, every guy with a job yeah. has, has wanted like, to do that. Dude, fuck, fuck this place. Yeah. You know? Yeah. yeah. You know how many times I thought about fist fighting somebody at Deer? <laughs> it's like, fuck it, dude. I'm just going to knock the motherfucker out and so he smacks his head on a combine and then I'll just walk out. I just, yeah. I thought about that like probably every three mm-hmm. days. Today's a day for six years. I almost think sending a reply all is worse than that. Like, that's going to everybody. See, yeah, yeah. if you get in a fight, only like the people who saw yeah. it in HR knows yeah. about they'll, it. They'll talk yeah. about all is like a better move, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Reading it. Mine was just reckless fantasy. Yeah, yeah, yeah you're yeah. just ready to go. <laughs> yeah. with, a, with a fist fight, it's like you can get your PVB slapped and head on out. You're good. But like, reply all, I'm fucking done. Fuck you guys, kind of thing. It's like, I forgot there's not my really keys. anything coming back from you're that. You're not getting anything out of fist fight. He played the PR move right. Well, yeah. And if uh, I was going the fist fight route, it would have been like, Women in HR, so just oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, beating a, up women's never. Cool. Yeah, it yeah, it's probably cool. not a good jumping jumping point <laughs> yeah. for your. Unless she's a music real career. bitch, yeah. that's that called, would have made that's, the news. Yeah. That's called prison. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah, it's called prison. Hey, Sometimes yeah. that's what it takes, man. That's dom- domestic, dude. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, it's still an option. I mean, not the prison part, not him. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's always an option. <laughs> right. Anything can happen, yeah. really. Yeah, You're a loose cannon. No, I wouldn't do it. Try not to do that. But no, I <laughs> try not to. That's, that's not it, women. No, but I love, I just do, I do love the balls behind it and like the moves because it is kind of like, it's the move we all wish we could do. Oh, 100%. yeah. You know, we We've all, all thought about it. Everybody has a fantasy of like, like, fuck this job, you know? Like you win the lottery and you just go out. Like yeah. Or awesome just whatever, you know? Yeah. You know? And Take you know, this job and shove it. Yeah. You, you know, know, like every guy that read that email, he's like, Oh my god, he fucking did it! Yeah, holy he fucking, fucking did, did it, dude. This guy did it. <laughs> That's what I'm it, talking I about. I had to win you over so many people. <clears throat> I mean, yeah, dude. Like I said, it 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 did. I mean, what you said, like you guys in your first year, like doubled. I mean, in that 24 hours, I think my. I mean, granted, it was like maybe, you know, 1,200 people followed me, but the next day it was 2,200 or whatever. That's big. I mean, it's double. Real you know, people. When you're small. Mm-hmm. Shoot. Yeah, it helps. I sold a lot of shirts doing that, man. You, know, real <laughs> you had to feel like a major badass though walking out of that trailer just in a Canadian tuxedo. Yeah, that oh, part yeah. was good. You know, it really did. It felt it felt like a weight was lifted. You know, it was cool. Well, what's funny? Damn. So that had happened. Sean had forwarded me 
the email. Right. And call me. He's like, dude, you got to get a hold of this guy. But Sean's like, I don't know him. Mm-hmm. He just worked for the same company. And he might have been distant. I don't know how the company works out. But he heard about it, saw the email, called me. And then somehow with like, I believe within a couple of days, I was talking to you on the phone. Yeah. Yeah. I think you DM me that day and you're like, yeah, that was sick. I just did the similar thing. And uh, I just looked back on it today. I was like, well, dude, yeah. Let me, if you need a jingle, let me know or something. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. I remember still together. waiting on that. <laughs> Which, man, we should do a, j- a jingle would be sick. A d- that would be I never, sick. A WCB jingle would be yeah, sick. Yeah. So, I had that in there. I remember talking to you like, dude. We do a lot of deer shows. If we can line something up in the Midwest, I'd love to have you out. Like, I don't know what it would do for you, but at least you'd be playing somewhere else where you don't live. Yeah. Essentially. No, I remember that. And I was like, well, dude, that's, yeah, that's my job now. So, yeah, I'd be dumb. Yeah, that's <laughs> That'd what be we cool. got to do. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go. That makes me money. Yeah. And you played Illinois Deer and Beer Fest. I don't know if it was that year or the next year. It, I think, was that year. I mean, or is that the year COVID that shut was, down and then you? No, because that was 21, it was so it would have been 22. So you played, Last year was 23, yeah. 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 You played yeah. 22 yeah. and 23. So mm-hmm. you played 22. That's the first time we met in person. Yes. In yeah. your band. Yeah. Banger. And everyone was awesome. Great fucking show. Dude. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah, I was I'm, so drunk dancing my little fucking legs right off. It was great. <laughs> little legs. Yeah. Little legs, yeah. <laughs> and then uh, you came back. Yeah, of course, man. And then we got to talk in this year, and I'm like, and this it had already been gone and passed, but I'm like, Eric and I were talking. Like, Should we get to see if Cody can play the shoot after party? Goddamn right. Fucking call him, see what he'll, what he'll do. <laughs> and you were actually you've been playing with Oliver Anthony and kind of touring around all over the fucking place. Yeah, well, we were actually trying to set up some dates with him like this week, but I knew I was going to be in Missouri last weekend, like months ago. So I was like, I mean, I'll already be in the Midwest, dude. So yeah. Let's do it. Yeah, so Let's fucking swing right up. <laughs> yeah, we got it rocking. I'm like, dude, because the venue, venue, it's a, it's a little bar, but it's like intimate, and yeah. I just, I, I, part of me hopes it's set up inside, just because you'll rock the fucking roof off that place. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. The outside setup's all right. It's good. It's outside, but it's just like a garden. Yeah. But I kind of want an inside, so you just fucking blow the balls I like off. It. I like it tight when it can be, man. I just always. I yeah. so, then right, we in. need to talk to BJ if we need to have it inside. Or outside. Well, that depends, man. I'm, I'm flexible. I'd rather have it inside. That way we can, we're, like, we're... <laughs> it's your party. We're jamming. Yeah. I'm just going to play anywhere, man. Yeah. Inside would be sick. I'm used it to just going wherever they tell me. I think so. inside would be sick, because then we can stay at the bar. Here, I'll yeah. text BJ right now. <laughs> we're texting BJ. It's, it's going to be It's 12.30 on a Thursday. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll wait. <laughs> <laughs> I'll text him tomorrow. We'll text him. You got the group text. We'll text him in the morning. Right. Does his AC work? <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah, it works yeah, in sure. there. Yeah, right. it works in there. Kind of. get, a bunch of, get a bunch of mouth breathers, it's be breathers nice in there. I don't know. Don't worry I'll, about it. Man, they're jamming. But yeah. Uh, yeah, I get sweaty. So yeah, you got you came out. We got connected. Um, hit it off, and uh, we end up setting you up with a bow. You got a bow now. Yeah, man. You guys were like, "Hey, you want this bow? Like, knock a couple hundred bucks off the price or whatever." I'm like, "We'll give you this." Bow. I was like, well, "That seems like a good deal. I'd like a bow." <laughs> yeah, Cole set you up. Yeah, with so, his bow shop. Yeah, my band they got some money, and I got a bow. And uh, it was a good time. I've been shooting that thing. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck yeah, brother. <laughs> yeah. Right. And we've been talking, so today you're in town. So you unexpectedly got in town early. Do we want to talk um, about why? We can. We can. It's up certain, to you, brother. We, no, we can to a certain degree. I mean, there's some things you can't say that, you know, legal obligations or whatever. Mm, but, NDAs, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, I don't know if I signed any of that. But. <laughs> it's just good, good. Yeah. 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 No, I was supposed to play with Lee Bryce uh, last Friday, June 7th, and it, it got canceled, you know, right before. So I was like, well, dang. Not, not, well, not your fault. Use a lightning? Or yeah. What? No, no, they just didn't sell enough tickets. So oh, the show got canceled. Damn it. That's not your fault. No, no, not. Well,. I mean, they did have me on there. Unfortunately, I could not sell out the amphitheater uh, alone. Mm. Uh, otherwise, I wouldn't have been what the, the opener. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> little, some frustrations. Hey, I did all I could do, man. My family was they were buying tickets and everything. So, bro, yeah. I will tell you, man. The WCB crew, since like our introduction to you, the first Illinois Deer and Beer Fest, and before, you know, but really from the first Illinois Deer and Beer Fest, 
We jam you all the time in here. All the time. Oh. And I will tell you, every time someone's in here as a guest, and our thing is we we entertain, we go eat dinner at the depot, we yeah. come back, we podcast, we have some beers after at our bar, we have the big TV at the sub and the sound system. Right. We all share music with each other, and we play music videos. It's like our fun thing. You get played every week. Oh, well, like, thanks, man. We show you off, and it's like... You're like the number one that we just go to. Yeah, we're like, yeah. dude, you need to know this guy because <laughs> he's going to be fucking big. And he's gonna take us with him because we're his homie because we, we we love him. We hope. Well, yeah, we I hope. told you. I told you. You guys are you guys are the gateway to the West for me, man. So it's cool. Well, <laughs> well, it's it's just been great getting to know you and you're fun and we we believe in your music. And we do love your music. If you sucked ass, we wouldn't love you oh, well, as thanks, much. Man. It's very good. My it's daughter likes it. 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 It's very yeah. good. Dude, I listen yeah. in the car yeah, all the time. Thank God, and thank God you're good. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, yeah. God. Yeah, no shit. thank God. Thank God. Yeah. Yeah. Thank God yeah. you're good. Yeah. This podcast like, would <laughs> suck if you sucked. This you know, sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Bring all to the deer and beer. It's like, oh no. Yeah, no. no. Thank God you're good. You and you're and you're really good live too. Like really fucking good. You guys fucking jam. You jam. Your band jams. You have the right. Uh, I don't know the verbiage, but you have the right cadences with your music, the yeah. like the dances, the entertainment in between songs, like the yeah. show is put together. There's no like, mm. <clears throat> yeah. what's going on at all in your performance? Like it's fucking on. I'm glad point. that it looks that way, man. Because I mean, there is a whole lot of like, what do y'all want to do next? Okay, okay, but it's just I mean, how, yeah, it's I've, just if you're comfortable, and I think yeah, that translates. I've been playing with those guys a lot, man, and. Uh, I mean, I guess it did take a long time to get more comfortable on stage. I don't, I don't really get too nervous anymore. You fit the part mm -hmm. of what? <clears throat> what you're doing? Oh, cool! Like, um, <laughs> so cool! Like, because I mean, not that like I've never been. I haven't been to like a lot of country shows, a lot of metal shows, like where I've gone to. And same thing with Jacob. Yeah, but like, I'm, I just like music in general, all music. Yeah. And when someone's up jamming and like has the confidence to like groove with what they're putting out to you. It makes you enjoy it more, right? Like you receive it better when the, someone who's given you their music yeah. is like believing in it. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean that's part of the entertainment, but also like I mean if you're, you know, if because there are shows where I'm definitely not feeling it. You know, I've played a lot of three hour sets in a restaurant with seven people that they just want to eat their chicken. You know, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you what do you do in a situation like that? And sometimes you, you know you playing. try you try and then. Sometimes, you know, you're like, all right, well, I guess I'm just going to put my head down and sing these songs. I got two hours. <laughs> hey, is that chicken good? Because <laughs> you got just like played for, you got hired for a gig and you're just there. Yeah, man. I mean, because when I, after I left the shipyard, I had to do, I mean, a lot, you know, playing. Well, I mean, not a lot, a lot, but I mean, three, four gigs a week, you know, three hours in bars and breweries, you know, just to, just to really get rolling, but also to make money. Like, I, I think that's right. cool though, man. Get your like, name out there. Anytime I'm at a, I've been at a brewery a lot of times mm -hmm. um, where there's somebody playing, and I'm like, I pay attention. I'm in. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I might not want to engage with them, <clears throat> well, but I'm enjoying their music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I mean, I think that it should be kind of hard too and slow, you know, to get people like. Because the reality is, you know, they put you in a room like they never put me in a room that was, hey man, this is this is the country, you know, restaurant. Yeah, it's just a restaurant. So, <laughs> I mean, right off the bat, like. You know, it's Taco Tuesday. You're in there trying to jam. Yeah, like I might even not even be in the right genre. Like I'll never win that person. So I mean, you right. just chip away at them one, two, or three at a time. I mean, that's that's a hard way to do it. But there's a lot to learn too. Yeah, doing that. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's a grind. You know, yeah. you just got to keep going. So how long have you been playing music then? Oh. Or doing, you know, writing songs and playing guitar and yeah. whatever else. Like, where did it all start? Uh, I started playing guitar in like junior high. Um, fractured my pelvis i used to play a lot of football and baseball and stuff and i fractured my pelvis so i couldn't do sports for like i don't know nine months or something hmm. so you do that? that's pretty integral to sports how did i do it yeah uh, two-hand touch football and gym class oh, fell, yeah i fell on my butt weird <laughs> no <laughs> shit really yeah huh. I fell on my butt weird. No yeah shit. i thought huh. it was a hamstring but no it was a fractured pelvis golly wow yeah <laughs> doug also broke his dick yeah well, yeah, I fell from like 20 I mean, your feet, pelvis though. is it, it is different. But <laughs> I didn't fall to my butt. My butt hit the ground. But your, Did you lead with your ass, though? Your, your no, pee, -pee hit feet. the ground? Oh. Yeah, I did. It held my landing. <laughs> oh, Damn. Nice. Ten, yeah, ten. Doug got no talent out of his broken ass. No. <laughs> yeah. He's got his new clothes all fucking ripped off. 
Man, yeah, dude, they that's bare unfortunate. Back me. But they filleted me. Do they have to cut your clothes off you? No, I got up and just limped around for a long time. Oh, jeez. <laughs> <laughs> See, I think, yeah, you fractured. I mean, months. You know, I, I broke kept, mine. Yeah, I kept playing baseball thinking I was like, it's a hand, you know, I'm just going <laughs> to limp it out. But uh. it took a little while, yeah, to get an x-ray and be like, oh, this thing's fractured, dude. Did you have to put like a, like a diaper cast on? No, no oh, cast. Okay, that's good. It's just rest, uh, sit down on a donut, <clears throat> you know, donut shaped pillow thingy. Oh, yeah. It's good for your butt. And, uh,. <laughs> Tried to learn the guitar, you know, started taking some lessons and man, that's how I learned and started playing in the church, playing with the the youth band. Yeah. That was my first band. I feel like a lot of your earlier yeah. songs had like Christian influence. Oh, right? I definitely did. Yeah, yeah. I mean it was straight up Christian music. I mean I started I mean I was I was working in churches uh for a few years. Mm -hmm. Leading the music there. Um you know, and then I started getting with the actual band, playing bars and gigs and stuff, and it made it a whole lot harder to play on Sunday mornings. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so that's cool, yeah. man. That's a cool. That's a cool story. Broken pelvis to Cody Christian jamming. Oh yeah, man. I think life's full of all kinds of man. This really sucks. What am I going to do? And then you end up doing something you would have never done anyways. That's all good, right? That's like the ebb and flow of like what life brings you. Oh I, yeah, I like to believe yep. so. Yeah. Life can fucking kick you in the balls, dude. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. Oh, yeah. 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 It'll bring her back around sometimes. And sometimes it'll kick you twice. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Sometimes it'll kick you when you're down. They get both nuts. <laughs> <laughs> both nuts and you. your pelvis. <laughs> Look at you up there. That's right. Yeah. So we got Cody God Christian dang. pulled up on oh. Spotify. Look at that fucking guy. I'll oh. tell you. All right. So today, we've been talking actually for a little while. So one of. My favorite songs by you is, and I think our crew's favorite songs is Canary in a Coal Mine. It's a great, yeah. it's a great mm -hmm. tune. Number two. There's no video of it on YouTube. Right. So I <laughs> right. asked you a long time ago. We're, so this is where it all led up. We're, our whole crew, we're, you know, surprised. We're drinking at our bar here, right here. <laughs> hey, dude, by the way, uh, tremendous facilities here. Uh, Thank you, man. Congratulations, yeah. guys. This thing's awesome. Uh, there is a fully stocked, awesome bar uh, in the facility, so... Thanks, man. We tried really hard to make that happen. That was actually neat, right? the first thing that was done before the studio was done, which says uh, not a lot about us as people. Yeah, priorities. But, uh, <laughs> but you know, we had it going on. It helped well. us build this than the rest of it. So, and right. great people in our community. We have a great family. Beautiful um, with WCB. But uh, playing music videos, um, we're looking for a canary in a coal mine. Yeah, music video. I and there's not one. I know. And <laughs> I texted you. We're all sitting together. And I go. I look at Eric. I go. <laughs> Hey, should I text Cody and be like, dude, if we film and pay for the video, do you think Cody let us be in the Canary and Coal Mine video? He's like, fucking text him. So I text you and you're like, yeah, man. However you talk. <laughs> yeah, and, man. Uh, yeah, man. And uh, so you get here today. You got here earlier. Yeah. A good impression of you, right? That was pretty decent. I honestly, if I had, I, I'm sure you did text me that. And I probably did say like. Heck yeah! Or all right, yeah. yeah you said yeah, man, for yeah, sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> you said that a lot. And I was probably like, ain't no way they're gonna do no music video for free. So I probably should have been thinking about it a lot more. But you guys have been thinking too. Yeah, we've been thinking about it ever since. Ideas. Well, you got here early. I did. Uh, thanks to Lee Bryce. Yeah. And uh, <laughs> and we were sitting here brainstorming because we could film it tomorrow during the day. And Jordan, young boy, our intern, is very talented. Has a great camera, and he and this could be his opportunity to like. To shine. To shine. Mm -hmm. And a good opportunity for a great song. Make me look good. But we've been brainstorming, yeah. and um, we, it just hasn't happened. We haven't decided on an idea. Uh, yeah, not yet. We're thinking... We're I thinking mean, too literal. Yeah, there's a lot that goes into it. Um, and I really haven't... The reason that there's not a music video out is just because they cost money, and I just, you know... I'm yeah. Sure. Do you, um, you guys have any canaries? I'm cheap. It doesn't uh, have to be literal. Uh, stuck. The canary no. coal mine's a metaphor. <laughs> yeah, right, right. But it, right. Like, canaries would be cool. I but but how many rap page. videos do you watch? Rap videos are the best videos. Can we all agree? No. Rap yeah, videos are the best. Well, okay. Or, or hardcore videos yeah, they, are the best videos. Simple. But they don't always you could just apply hang out the to the lyrics. No. So yeah, rare, rarely ever, actually. They're, they're fantasy. Yeah, they're fun. People Fun, do that they're fun fantasy is yeah. music videos. Fun yeah. fantasy. So rap, country music, hardcore whatever the mm -hmm. music video can be whatever you want it to be oh right? yeah it's got to just fit the song mm -hmm. yeah that's the important part no and matter it can, what it and is. it can fit the song many a different ways you know? so we've been brainstorming today and i we still we're getting late and we have not 
came up with any idea. <laughs> yeah. Well, no, we, we've come up with some ideas. It's just, you know, we got to think, all right, we've got very little time here. Uh, we have little resources. We've got people. We know the song, and we've got the camera. Yeah. Four hours. Can we do it good. four hours? <clears throat> yeah, for sure. We could yeah. make a version. It don't have to be the video. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, it'll be... <laughs> Whatever it is, it'll be authentic and it'll be good. We badass. Yeah, well, it'll be something. As long as it comes from the heart, the other mm -hmm. be okay. Yeah, I think, I think the people will see I just it. I hope everyone has fun. And no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if, if there's no video, then you know we didn't do it. But yeah, if there right. is one, you'd be like, "Wow, they did it." Oh, they went there. It nice. Go either way, but it's I think shit. it's worth talking about tonight. And you know, yeah, a couple drinks and some creative juices flowing. We'll talk about it at the bar and we'll see what we can come up with. Yeah, I think we had some decent ideas before, and we can play we can play off of. Uh, I think there's some cool things we can incorporate locally. Yeah, for the yeah. area that could. Well, I'd love to hear that. There's a gazebo right across the street, dude. Oh God, that's exactly. I'm just Walkhead Den would have been a perfect place. Good, good gazebo. That's a good yeah. point. Yeah. Gazebo we could drive there. It's not that far. Yeah, yeah. I was walking around Wildcat Den in Iowa in the, uh, yesterday. Pretty badass. Ain't it? it was super cool. I've never been to Iowa. Wildcat before. Den. Yeah, Wildcat Den. Well, there's a bunch of wild cats in that den. Or Turns what? out, no cats. Just is that literal? Or is that uh, is that a metaphor as yeah. well? Yeah, according to the sign, there were some wild cats there at some point. I'm sure. I didn't huh. One time there was yeah, saber tooth tigers. I don't know why like it felines. I mm. seen it. Um, all right, so Cody, I'm on your Spotify. Oh, you, okay, yeah. I wanted to. All right, so artist pick is that your the the song you pick to put there? Um, you do this? Yes. Posted by Cody Christian. Yes. Yeah, that's the one where uh, some people they'll uh, display other artists, but I don't want to do that. Yeah. Well, you gotta. I mean, oh, why you, would you? Yeah. You why shit. would you cannibalize yourself? That's dumb. That's weird. Yeah, I'm not that selfless. No. So yeah. <laughs> that's just the most recent. We're thing. not. Yeah, we're not there yet. Yeah. What, what yeah. was your first album that you put out, or like your first project? Uh, I don't know the terminology. Like, like with me, or like, because no, nah, I mean, I had a band. We put out an EP, Every King and Commoner. We put that thing out in I don't know. It might have been 2017 or 18, and that was like a straight worship EP, and then. With that band, uh, we put out an album, a few singles, and then another album, and then COVID happened. Uh, and then, no, before COVID, I thought it would be a good idea to be on The Voice. So then I made my own like solo EP, just in case I was on The Voice, mm -hmm. so that there was something that people could go and look to, but I didn't end up on The Voice. What? What was the solo EP? Was that this one right here? It's that one with me and the guitar, which is basically just recycled um, Every King and Commoner songs. Yep. Yeah, and one worshipy tune. That's that's a that's a good album though. It's a great EP, yeah. uh, dude. Oh, well, thanks, man. It I rules. Love it. Yeah, we we're jamming it in here. Revival, fuck it, oh, so yeah. good. Dude, it's that's really good. one of the first songs that I wrote. I love that song. Mm -hmm. It's really good, thanks, man. Yeah. We, so what happened with the voice? We that's one of the out. first songs you wrote. Mm -hmm. Was revival. Yeah, I think it was like well, maybe the third, something. Like that. So, all right, all right. Let me ask: <laughs> Can we play this on the podcast and not get flagged? I don't know who would flag you, but it won't be me personally. But I'm not going <laughs> to say, you know, <laughs> Spotify. Yeah. That's what I've always been so scared of. Well, when I upload videos to my YouTube, <clears throat> I get copyright stuff by myself. So huh. I don't know. <laughs> that's funny. Uh, you suing well, yourself? See, that's why I'm always. You can't use your own music. It's I play you a little bit in that intro here and there when I'm talking about you for the shoot, but I always keep it short because I'm scared it'll flag I, the whole episode. I don't want. I don't mean I don't want your thing to get jacked up. I can't speak to what's going to happen if you do that. Okay, we'll just. Let, can you play some stuff live? Yeah, I can do that. I got to get fiddle in here. Okay, okay. <laughs> but <laughs> revival, <laughs> revival is one of my favorite. It's up there in in top jams of your thanks dude i mean that yeah. was honestly it was my favorite song and i think my whole band's favorite to play for a long time we uh we closed it's soulful like, we closed every set with it for years how, how that's how do you write a song like that how does that start Ooh. well um <laughs> church with an, e with an email yeah sometimes yeah how does one just write a song because oh, we man. always joke around that we're gonna write a rap song and like be serious to see if we could do it. Yeah, I know sure. we can't. I know we, we can't. It, though. Yeah. Well, maybe one day, but it'll be terrible. Yeah. Far too hard. But, it, but it's like even the thought of thinking about making a song seems so incredibly difficult mm. and embarrassing already. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. The thought of like self embarrassment of like this is awful. Oh, yeah. yeah the, the embarrassment part is is real. You know. Uh -huh. Like usually, if I write a new song, I'll strategically go to a bar where I know people don't care. 
and I just won't even say anything, and I'll just play it and be like, all right. Yeah. Kind of read the crowd. Like a test crowd? Yeah, and like if one person's like, hey, what was that? I was like, all right, that might have been a good song. Let's <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's uh, honest. Yeah, yeah. But if people are like leaving, I'm like, all right, maybe this isn't a good one. <laughs> Try hey, you really don't know if this song's good or not? Um, I mean, I got a feeling sometimes, but I it could just be recency bias. Like every latest song, at least at first, you're like, this is the best that I've done. And then you sit on it for a few days, and you're like, yeah, it's probably not. Really? Yeah. Maybe. I don't know. Like, how long does it take you to, like, work through that process? Because it's like, (laughs) you know, like, Canary and Coal Mine's like a banger. Right. Um, That one, they're all different, really. And I'm not the best guy to ask about, you know, how do you write a song? Because I'm not, I mean, there's a million different ways to do it. Um, You know, like, folks in Nashville, I mean, they might write. 300 400 songs a year with other mm. folks and with like a group yeah and i've never been the most successful guy at co-writing i don't think i've done it a few times and it's cool um but i don't know man sometimes uh you just you might find yourself like humming something i mean i know like in the shipyard when i was doing it, i did a lot of monotonous work like grinding paint you know and if you're grinding paint for three hours you got to do something so you just find yourself humming or you know so, I mean, sometimes you get, like, a melody or something, or something will happen, and, like, you'll have a lyric or be like, that might be catchy or rhymy or something, and you build from there. Or sometimes, you know, you get uh, high, and then you play guitar <laughs> or something, and uh, you just fiddle around, and you're like, well, Figure shit out. yeah, maybe I can build something around that. And Are you a Billy Strings fan? No. I do, yeah. I've seen Billy twice. Nice. I love Billy yeah. Strings. His podcast with Theo Vaughn, yeah, is crazy. in my top five podcasts yes. ever recorded. You guys yeah. want to do meth? Yeah, yeah I do want to no. after that podcast. <laughs> you can write a Let's song. see what it's all about. He yeah. talks about playing, doing meth, and playing the same guitar riff for forty eight hours straight. Mm-hmm. And he played the same riff. He goes, "I worked out so many kinks," and then he played so much the copper on the strings came off. And when he would rub his face, it would turn his face green. Yeah. And then when his buddy came over after 48 hours, he's like, oh, my God, what's up with your face? Well, he'd been up just playing guitar nonstop. Didn't mm-hmm. know his face copper, was green. Yeah. And he's like, dude, I worked out so I worked out years of kinks in guitar playing in that wow. 48 hours. One of the only people that can recreationally use meth. <laughs> right. Yeah, I hey, feel man. like it's a pretty highly addictive drug. Like, think about the podcast you know, but, we yeah. crank out in 48 hours. Oh, dude, we <laughs> yeah. should probably see what it's all about. We could do a whole you know? year. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Whoa. All yeah. I can say is there's a reason people do it. Oh yeah, dude. It's just yeah. I know lots it, of I know lots of you people. Have have that way. <laughs> There's a lot of reasons. People you know do why it. you still yeah. hear about meth? It's like because people still like it. Yeah, <laughs> people are still doing yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That's yeah. a good point. That's if it true. was really that bad, yeah, no we, one would do it. When's the last time pantyhose came up in a conversation? <laughs> <laughs> not recently. <laughs> that's a good point. They're not into it, anymore. man. All right. Maybe we'll get a doctor and have him sit in. Yeah, it's a produ- it's a productive drug. It's not like heroin, you know, where you're just like fucking like. Ugh. I'm trying to get hey, let's all, go do something. I'm trying to get the fuck. year's work done in two days. Let's yeah. go. You know, marathon. Yeah. Maximize my efficiency. Yeah, mm-hmm. That's right. That's all it is. Time and efficiency. All right. So, <laughs> as of right now, by the way, the theater sessions are the jam. Oh, thank you. Um, really like them. That yeah, those were my first. Well, no, I guess I did have the other EP, but that was my first one where it's like, all right, I guess this is this is what we're doing. Was that in front of a crowd or was it just live recorded stuff? No, it was in a theater that was empty. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, on Granby Street. Um, Ambiance. Yeah, man, I played this guy's wedding that uh that managed the 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 place. So uh, you know, I, I wanted to do something kind of on the cheap, but I knew I needed to get something out there. Um, so the easiest way to do that is to just play with yourself and the guitar or by yourself <laughs> the guitar. Yeah, I, dude, it's a yeah. great, it's, that was a great move. Thanks, mm-hmm. man. Yeah, well, and I saw like, you know, Tyler Childers, I think is my favorite guy making music period. And, uh, I mean, he had like the R vinyl sessions and yeah, you know, I think nose on the grindstone. We sit there on that it. big rug and he's yeah. just jamming. And he yeah. recorded it like. And that was just him and the guitar, and he never went back to do it again. So it's, you know, and then you got guys like Zach Bryan and stuff doing stuff. And it's like, man, you don't need to spend, you know, $3,000 on a song. Like, if you got some good folks that know what to do with a microphone, you could do the same thing and get some good 
audio quality and video stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah. A fraction of the cost and it's content, you know. Yeah, for sure. No, yeah. I think good move. The Saints I'm, I mean, to- I've done it twice now. Well, the Saints of Appalachia recording from the Granby Theater procession is the jam. Oh, thank you, thank you. It's a uh, banger. That YouTube video is, that's got to be one of the top ones for you, right? That thing is, that thing is fucking badass. You know, it was until I covered uh, a Red Clay Stray song. Um, oh, yeah. And I, that's my most viewed one. You're like outside? Yeah, I, that's when I was living. I just set up a little, my. Uh, no, I was inside for that one. But there was a big open door to the outside. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And uh, I think the majority of the comments are just like comparing me to Forrest. This Gump, one? Which is fair. Yeah. <laughs> Forrest Comparis- Gump. <laughs> Forrest yeah. Gump. Oh, wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a fair amount of Forrest yeah. Gump comments in there. <laughs> I just felt uh, like running. Did you try yeah, this? I can see that. That makes sense. Like yeah. No, I, I mean, I do like everything. Yeah. When you got the hair and the beard, it happens. We all look the same. I think I'm going to go home now. Yeah. Just kept running. <laughs> I was in for Halloween just one year. It was, Jenny. Yeah. It was a big hit. Jenny's got AIDS. <laughs> <laughs> Tastes Jeez. like that cigarette. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. <laughs> oh, Lord. You got it, dude. You've been coming out with some bangers, though. I mean, Canary in a Coal Mine, Saints of Appalachia. I'm, dude, this whole album is fucking a yeah. banger. Yeah, yeah. That was proud of that thing, man. It was, it was super fun. And that was also like my, all right, well, this is what I, you know. This is what I quit and told the people I was doing. So here it is. You commit. I got to do it. Yeah. Two week notice. Wife and kids. I mean, wife and kids that, is a banger. Dude, that wife whole album is, is the fucking shit. Thanks. Man. Uh, Why did it have to rain today? Is a banger. Morning doves a banger. Dream Holler Chase is a banger. It, dude, yeah. you just. It's all good. You're, Thanks. You're dude. good. We're working on it. And we're I'm, working on a thing. It's just. Man. It's cool to see someone that we got connected with murder it. Yep. Man. And I'm telling you, dude, you're. We have so much faith in you and being like a household name and oh, thanks, man. this whole scene. Well, I believe it when you say that, man, because mm-hmm. you guys, you know. We wouldn't keep having you out. Yeah, told me ass. to come all the way out here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I, I don't really listen to a whole lot of country music, admittedly, right. um, but the stuff I do listen to, it's like very much skewed towards like your style of country, where it's, just, it's not like that typical like Nashville fucking uh, machine, you know. It's just, you know, a lot more raw and that's why i like that's why i got into metal and hardcore music it's because it's more raw real and it's like i don't know yeah. it's just there's a lot more to it a lot of meat and taters in there yeah you know? i mean i think that's coming back to probably in all genres you know mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. something that people can relate to uh and you know yeah i like to think i'm a pretty regular dude and if i'm thinking it other people might be thinking it too mm-hmm. cody jinx is like that and he started out in a metal band too and then he um skewed off and went oh, country yeah. but fuck like you know the way cody he's jinx he's rules. doing it too is like very much like hey, like I, I, I went country. and saw cody jinx in el paso and they came out chanting fuck nashville like the whole time like oh <laughs> sick all right you know it's like it was there's definitely a a listener base that's like into more of that kind of music, oh, like yeah. that kind of country music, yeah. you know. It's Nashville's a wild town, man. It's I mean, it's, it's got to be beneficial though. Oh, a hundred percent. I mean, I'm pretty sure that if I moved there, I could probably expedite some of these things. If are you gonna? No. no, 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 no. I don't want to. Why? <laughs> you ever been to Nashville? Yeah, it's great. It's, all, it's like <laughs> well, bachelor parties now. Hey, yeah. yeah, I mean it's uh, it's I mean it's a party city. It's probably the party. I mean, if, now if you if you wanted to party, I don't know what other city you would go to that would be better. Vegas. Uh, I don't. I think I don't Nashville. know. Nashville's, Nashville's, Vegas no. now. Nashville's taking over. It everything depends what you're country. into. Like, is I mean, prostitution legal in Nashville? That's a no. different kind of party. Okay. You can oh, just show yeah, up. different. Yeah. Music <laughs> party. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you're trying to be Morgan Wallen and throw a fucking chair off a balcony. Yeah. Morgan Hoyland. Whalen. Yeah, I think, yeah. And, and the price of that in Nashville, I think, is just like six Bud Lights. I don't know what you're paying in Vegas for soliciting. More than that. Here's the thing. I never thought we'd have a direct connection to Morgan Wallen, but we do. Do we? He hunts with our homie, Mark, mm-hmm. Mark Drake, oh, yeah. once a year. Yeah. Man. I, I even, I even so much... So that I went from not a Morgan Wallen listener to like the last two days I've been trying to give him a chance because mm-hmm. mm-hmm. if Mark loves him he's got to be cool, right? And Mark speaks so highly of him that I'm like last night. Blah, 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 blah. It's pretty catchy. I'm like it's all high school kid songs though. Yeah, 
Uh-huh. But they're catchy. Um, it's working. Yeah, I mean, catchy. that's, you know, yeah. I can't relate to Morgan Wallen as much because, I mean, I haven't broken up with that many women and I haven't. <laughs> not <laughs> yet. Yeah, 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 I, yeah, I just haven't yeah. been in that many you bonds for three years. Cody's last night. We <laughs> hang on, hang on, hang on. See, I love Post Malone, though. Last yeah. Night, I love a good Post Malone song. So that's what really got me into the Morgan Whalen. Is it Wallen or Whalen? Uh, it's Wall. Whalen. I think it's Wall. It's Whalen. It's, 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 it's Whalen. I just call it Morgan Waffles. You know. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I, like I called that. him Morgan Whalen when I was at like talking to Taylor Drury and stuff, and they just laughed. So it's got to be like <laughs> it's pretty good. Yeah, it's got to be Whalen. Yeah. yeah, Morgan Whalen. Uh, no, man, I think he's good. You know, I mean, he's at the top of the game. You know, he's 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 just he's. He's doing a different. I heard thing they're running thing. like yeah. they got the in- music industry by the nuts. It's like him. Who? Or we were just talking to somebody that was in the studio that knows. Um, Hardy, him, Hardy, Ernest, and uh, yeah, who's the other one? There's uh, another one. In Luke there. Holmes. I don't know. No, but they got. They guys. basically <laughs> they're all on the label, and it's just them. Well, yeah, because oh. they. I mean, they all. My understanding is, you know, they all just started writing together. Yeah, and I think Morgan popped off first. Uh, and then they all, you know, kind of kept it rolling. Rising yeah, tide. man. I mean, it's very. I think Nashville is real. What's the word? Like incestual, maybe. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like it kind yeah. of feeds into itself. You know, like yeah, we're gonna put our money into these guys, and we're also gonna put this money into radio, and that's what's gonna mm-hmm. turn into awards and stuff. And I could be real wrong. That's just my speculation. It's not I mean, suits in Nashville. For me, it seems like it, but yeah. I don't know shit. But I mean, you know, like I'm a, I'm a, I am also a hip hop fan, right? And Yellow Wolf is probably the top of our yep. list of hip hop, you know. And Yellow Wolf's out of Nashville now, and you know he just dropped an album, War Story, that I think is a banger. Yeah, hmm. but you know, not everybody's a hip hop fan. Yeah, you know. I mean, and that's true. They're so you said he is in Nashville. Now he is. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, I mean, dude, so many people are, but so many of my favorite people aren't too. Yeah, right. as yeah. long as there are people out there that are doing it without doing it, then you can't tell me that I have to do it. This way, right? You can do mm-hmm. however you want because my favorite people aren't. So yeah. Well, why would I do something? The hunting industry. Want? You know, how people told us we couldn't say fucking faggot. Yeah. And still tell us. And, and hey, and I say can, it every episode. They yeah. didn't say that. They I say mean, it. I'll probably get canceled one of these days, but fuck those faggots. Uh, I mean, if they didn't already, it. then nice. it probably wouldn't happen. Yeah, I feel you like know? we're in like the the most cancely time, That's and true. we're fine. So it's like whatever, dude. I like Kid Rock's motto that. uh you can't cancel me if I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I think that stands true for the most part. Uh-huh. And, and the thing is, I don't actually, something. I don't have, I don't mean it like, I don't be, like believe in the full blown hatred. I think their reaction to the word is funnier than like, I, everyone knows I'm not out there like faggot bashing. Right. Yeah. Well, like we, for real. <laughs> we all grew up in the word. Yeah. South you know, Park exists. Yeah. We all know he's not out there FBing. Yeah. yeah. Funny story about not that yet. word. <laughs> it's the, uh, it's the first word that I think made me cry. The what word? Faggot. Yeah, man, we were playing, uh, you know, and this might get me smear the queer. I believe is what oh, they called yeah. it back in the day. Yeah, that game That's a rules. Great game. It was a in the neighborhood. Yeah. I don't know, man. I might have been seven or eight, and I was just killing it. I guess. And uh, yeah, some guy, some guy dropped the f bomb on me, and I didn't even know what it meant. Hmm. But my mom said that I went home and cried. I don't remember it happening. Well, <laughs> you went to church, so I didn't know that we were going to talk about that. On this, but I just <laughs> you said it. I didn't mean to bring it up. You said it. Bring it up bad memories. You brought now. it up. I, I asked yeah. my daughter if they still play Spear the Queer, and she's like, mm, No. I'm like, Really? They didn't play Spear the Queer oh. when I was in school, dude. Really? No, we just called we everybody it. No, no yeah. we, we did. did we did. Dude, we sure. played Spear the Queer up yeah, all yeah. the time. That it was every, great. Every day at recess. That yeah. was the neighborhood thing. That was the. You know, behind the bleachers at the high school football games thing. That was Dude, we play it right on the playground. Everybody like, get the queer, yeah. get oh, the yeah. queer, smell oh, the queer, yeah. and like, uh-huh. the, all the uh-huh. teachers are sitting there like, oh, yeah, kids. So the the teachers are like, yeah, it's funny kids. little kids. I'm just, yeah, I don't uh, remember Bucky, ever being what, corrected. Bucky, what they have in your day? It was blood on the mountain. Hmm. I don't know that one. Kill the, kill the faggot. No, it was just a snow. <laughs> It was a snow oh, pile. Like you say that? I oh, can't say that now. Yeah. What, what, what? It was a snow pile, and uh, whoever <laughs> got to stand on top got to bloody everybody else. It was. Oh, we called that King of the Hill, dog. Yeah, King yeah. of the Hill. Yeah. It was, no, yeah. we we're, it was blood. Oh, oh yeah. Kick the can. Went yeah. to different schools. You can't be a king without bringing a little blood in there too. You know that was what a while ago though, so yeah. it was a little bit different. Like than it. <laughs> We'd come true. in from recess late because it'd be like yeah. black eyes, and bloody lips. Oh yeah. <laughs> I didn't mean that, all right? Uh, um, huh. Cody, I think it's time we get off the, the talk that we're on. And, yeah. <laughs> Let's move on. Can we jam? 
I yeah, gotta, man, we can, or at least I can. Can you guys? I don't know what you guys do. But we'll Doug, smile Doug, and clap. Doug, All right. Doug's a pretty good backup singer. I got we a need question, one. quick. I What's am, up? So, nah. how about like when you're writing songs like this? How is it? Mm-hmm. Isn't it hard to like come up with something different? I mean, uh, and how does AI work into that? Like, oh boy, isn't oh. that a bullshit? Oh, it's a different deal? ball game now. Like, you got to push that mic back and down. Feel free, however you need it. Okay, you can hear it in your headset. If you need to turn it up or down, you just let yeah. me know. You want to know where I'm getting like um, move for this bad boy too? So, what like, was yeah, the first part of that question? So, like, when you're writing a song these days, like, how do you write something that's unique? Oh, it, it, there's just so much stuff. Like, well, I saw Aaron Lewis last Thursday. Yeah, <laughs> fucking. Awesome, best I've ever seen. Well, that's awesome. Yeah. I mean, of him, seen I saw him right. like five times. I mean, I think it's it's probably hard. Like if you listen to like Hank Williams Jr., you know, and mm-hmm. you know he's got how many albums? You know, thirty or something like. Bazillion. You're you're gonna hear like, oh well, this verse is the same melody or progression yeah. that I've heard in like four of his other songs, and I think a big <laughs> part of that is because I mean, there's only like I think twelve notes in music, and you can only play like five or seven at a time and makes sense so at some point it's going to all start running together and if you're singing about you know uh trucks and, yeah trucks yeah and, and lakes and being awesome and like you can only say the lake is awesome in so many ways right. so, mm-hmm. it's a great lake yeah i mean but like for myself love that lake you know nice i know like lake. for some songs like if i'm if i've been doing the same chord progression or whatever a little too much i'll be intentional and be like all right i'm gonna try something different and like kind of force yourself to i guess yeah is it hard when like you like made canary in a coal mine such a banger not to like think about that when you're like trying to write a new song you're like oh god so good like <laughs> uh, fucking playing it again yeah. well yeah i mean i guess and i mean a lot of people do you know that's why you'll see hear a lot of the same things more than once you know but a lot of people get mad too and they're like ah that sound we like their older stuff better mm-hmm. but then you'll hear some complaints it's like every album sounds the same mm-hmm. so it's like it's got to be one or the other because right. there's only, there's only there's ever, so much you can do have you ever tried playing much. a song backwards no i never tried that like, how, about, how about like ai how does that like is that threatening the, uh, the creativity of i right mean time? dude i don't send emails too good so <laughs> yeah, I'm you not, do. yeah you do yeah you do Thirty thousand <laughs> people you might you have got one like good one, one. Yeah, you got one good now. one that's a good point but like the cc and the bcc and the reply all <laughs> stuff and like the chains really confuse me yeah um so i'm not worried about myself falling victim to ai uh, but I mean, I think some people are going to be making a whole lot of bangers. I think it's going to be really weird when like Michael Jackson drops a new single in 2025. Yeah. I don't think that's cool personally, but who am I? Um, like Randy Travis, have you heard his, his new song? Yeah. Have you heard his new song? Yeah, I have it. It's like AI. And, I mean, he's alive and like yeah. probably wrote that song. Oh, but didn't he have like 52 strokes or something like that? So yeah. he ain't talking so, too I mean, well. Yeah, it wasn't really him singing. It was yeah. AI. But like yeah. Randy Travis is here with us to say like, this is my song and that's how I want it to sound. Yeah. Oh, like he wrote so the that's, lyrics. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So that's cool. Uh, well, he probably had some co-writers and stuff. But yeah, man, once, I mean, there's definitely people probably already doing it. You know? Oh, yeah. Oh, I mean, for why sure. Why wouldn't they? Um, yeah. Are you doing it right now? And we just don't know. No, not yet. Is that why yet. you're so good? Not yet. I'm trying. I mean, I'm gonna try not to. But if everybody else does, I will for sure. I'm for sure. Gonna <laughs> <laughs> we should use AI to do it. If, if yeah. you need us to do any mic adjustments for you, because you're just you're rocking into one mic, yeah. let us know. Right on. Whatever we gotta do. We what do y'all want? To you want to center mass video. it? What do y'all want to hear? Oh, that'll sound good. There you go. Serenade us, man. All right. Should we want? start with Revival? Is that all right? Yeah, we can do that, man. I just love that song. Yeah, this is the old... Hold on, let me get my... Pick out. Ooh. Oh. What do you got to do, man? Serenade us. Give the give the WCB listeners a, it's got a, ten of a mini show. <laughs> I think one of these has got my mom on it. No, it's in my other... Is that a Ouija board pick case? No. Oh, I thought it was. It's on the pre-roll case. What a flow. Oh, <laughs> <hell yeah. laughs> I thought it looked like a Ouija board. It did. Yeah. I was using a Copenhagen straight can for a long time, but then. That's way cooler. My bass player's like, dude, this one's so much cooler. Like, You're right. That is cooler. <laughs> Actually, I bought that uh, the last time we left Illinois. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. In Bloomington. Legally. Dog walker is my favorite. Totally legally. Love a, a dog <laughs> yeah. walker pre roll. <laughs> yeah. 
So, this uh, episode's brought to you by Dog Walker pre no, Dog no, Walker pre <laughs> marijuana. Uh, so this song's called Revival, and it's a churchy tune. Seamless transition. <laughs> Try to find my peace in a bottle Search for love in a brothel Oh, but I know That joy doesn't last Yeah, and I know wrong from right I used to pray day and night Oh, but I fall in It's one of them, man. It's up there. It's so I have good. a lot of favorites. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm a fan. I really am a fan. Thanks, dude. Yeah, that was our old, you know, church tune, man. Dude, when that song ass. comes on, song well, I had a player in there earlier in yeah. here. Like, it's just, I jam that song. I'm hard. It's so soulful, dude. You can't yeah. not love it. Thank you, man. It, dude, yeah, that that's was... impressive, man. I, that's a, oh, man, that's a good song. You could record a song in here. Man, yeah. You really could. That sounded great. It that did sound, sound really, really good. Really good. I mean, it is soundproof. You guys do have really good microphones. Like, these are... They're sure SM7Bs, yeah, baby. Yeah, I mean, those are the industry standard, man. Everything sounded... You ever need like, to do Gramby, uh, Gramby Theater. I'm pretty sure the vocals, sm 7 We ought to do a Cody Christian Sessions at the WCB studio tomorrow. Yeah. Hey, it wouldn't be hard. You what got... if we just did that for Canary in a Coal Mine? Why not? I mean... That's what we do. We just do it in here. Keep yeah. it simple, Canary man. Canary Coal Mine WCW Kiss. at the at the WCW place. I'll bring a bird. Know? Do we just do it? I mean, 
it it saves us a lot of bird. thinking. But that's what we do in the morning. Okay. Yeah. That's yeah. the video. I, just, I think that rules. Yeah. I just wait. Like, just, just, just the ambiance yeah. of look, looking at it. Oh, it's like, yeah. It's well, perfect, you guys dude. got some sick stuff in here or something. Yeah. It would be a we shame just, to not take advantage of why it. Why not? We got to do it. That's what we're doing. That's the video. I do want to be by the giraffe. Is Jordan going to be by the giraffe? What's that? Oh, yeah. Come in. Did you find him? We can do little cuts. Oh, you talked to him. Yeah. yeah. You can do like walking through the fucking son of a bitch and stuff. That's what we do. That's the video. Sitting down, B roll. Just like some some spots. Cody, that is. You can kiss the giraffe on the way in. So impressive, dude. Yeah. What? That. That was really good. That is. It sounded just like the fucking album. That's very good. It is so good. It baffles me that someone could just like, I don't know, just sit down and do that. I can't believe you're in here doing it. Well, I mean, you know, there's things that everybody can do that people, other people. You know, I don't, I don't know. know. You're humble. Well, Doug, you engineer. You know, I don't know. I mean, so do other people. You, well, you can't read, but play you engineer. <laughs> you, know, you engineer stuff. Cody, what's what's you know, your right. favorite song to play? Like, what solo acoustic? Like, what's one that you just like? I like this song. Like, Man. It doesn't have to be that you think it sounds better than yeah. another one, but like, what's one you enjoy? I mean, honestly, I do like um, playing Canary a lot. Um, uh, we, I mean, I, I. I like I'm a recency bias kind of guy, so our newest song I have a good time playing. Uh, it's a real fun one. It depends on the room too, man. Like if I'm in, you know, Kentucky or West Virginia, like I know Saints of Appalachia is going to be a good wife one and kids. Like. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, like if if there's some, it's, uh, yeah, mm-hmm. there's some good look. Yeah, I know we know your <laughs> library. We're we're familiar. Oh yeah, you know I'm what? We know your library. Oh, the songs. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Dream Holler Chase is I love one of the favorite song. ones. Yeah, dude, I like I like that's another newer one that. Are we proving we at least listen? No, oh, yeah, definitely. I mean, yeah, you you went you, know, you went deep. Revival was I mean that was like I said one of the first songs. Deep so, cuts. I didn't know. I said I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. Can we do? Uh, can we make requests right now? Or is this open? Yeah, you can make some requests. There's some I might have forgotten, but you can say whatever. Can you Can we want. do wife and kids? Yeah, we can do that. I might need to read. <laughs> you got any Somebody <laughs> asked me. Uh, Yesterday, they're like, do you cover any Creed? I was like, not yet. Not yet. He's like, good. I was like, what? 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 Wait, so he hated like, Creed? What do you mean? Yeah, he doesn't like Creed. What the hell? Yeah, awesome. he, the, why do you lead with that? <laughs> yeah, don't ask me to play it and then tell yeah. me not to. Yeah, Creed is so test. hot right now. So make sure you're not gay. The second coming of Creed. It's always been hot. <laughs> do you just have Why, all did you find Jordan out there or was he mm-hmm. missing? He was messing with his camera last time I saw oh, him. He was snoozing. What? Yeah. Little baby boy. I, I didn't know that you guys, you guys, you guys, you boys go late, man. That's cool. That's what we do. I like it. I might have to touch this real quick. I'm going to start making some noises. Make some noise, brother. It's your show now. Just to make sure when I go to make the noises officially, it doesn't sound as bad. <laughs> yeah. I mean, when, when you say we go late, we've had the last three weeks, I think I've been here till 4 a.m. Oh, okay. Mm. Uh, yeah. Uh, I was asking young boys, like, how late do they go sometimes? Because, I mean, I'm cool if we just do this a different time. Or I mean, not that I was tired, but, like, if you guys are, you know. No. Oh, um, dude. Fuck. We know nothing but work ourselves oh, to death. That's all we got. We got one mode. Nice. Uh, one mode die. One. You just got to put the pedal to the metal and yeah. see what happens, you know. There's plenty of caffeine out there. If we're going to die fuck at dude. 60, brother, we got to fucking double our time while we're here. Amen. That's right. Overtime. I believe in that. I believe in that. And then we die. Yeah. So mm-hmm. Wife and Make kids. Make that a song. That's the one, Wife and Kids. I like that one. I like a lot of them, but this is one you're going to play now, I guess. Uh, yeah, so this one, I usually preface this one uh, when I'm live by saying, like, this song's called Wife and Kids, and it's about not wanting either one of them. And, uh, <laughs> yeah, so you guys laugh there, dude. I did that in Missouri and nothing. I was like, uh-oh. This is going to be a problem. That was usually a guarantee. Oh, boy. <laughs> He's got one chuckle out of it. Yeah. Everyone knows they're uptight in Missouri. Yeah, so they, I don't know yeah, what, what it was. Hell? They were not feeling what's it. Their, what's their deal? I don't know. They all had good marriages in Missouri. <laughs> yeah, they're all just <laughs> real happy. Oh, yeah, right. They're just real happy people up there, I guess. But yeah, this song is called Wife and Kids, and um, yeah, I don't remember how I wrote this one, but I did. <laughs> <laughs> Check one, two. Cool. She gave me an unfamiliar feeling But I was too green to know what was going on I was falling in love 
I'm a music man, steady dreaming. And those thoughts of doubt start to creep in at her touch. So I turn and run. Cause when wise man said, get you dreaming in while you can. Babies, don't let you sleep in. Mamas need to love children to quality time. I got a voice inside Don't swing for the fences if you can't afford to miss Cause you let down the whole team, let down the wife and kids That's why I don't want to join in these love games too many reckless dreams for a heart to get in the way Five years of hard Nashville living The tip jar and calm won't fix my ceiling And it's raining and I'm cold and wet I wish I had me a lover this evening I'd hold her tight, she'd press me on Oh, but I'm alone Cause the wise man said Get you dreaming in while you can Babies, don't let you sleep in Mamas need loving children to quality time I got a voice Inside. Swing for the fences if you can't afford to miss. Cause we let down the whole team, let down the wife and kids. That's why I don't want to join in these love games. Too many reckless dreams for a heart to get in the way. And if I fail, then I only fail myself. And if I'm broken down in the gutter, ain't got to save nobody else. And if you're worried for me, please don't be. I'm doing fine, fine as wine. But a wise man said, Get you dreaming in while you can. Babies, don't let you sleep in. Mamas need loving children to quality time. But I got a voice. Inside, I think a swing for the fences with someone that can take a miss. That'll root for the home team, me and the wife and kids. We'll teach them dreams of things that are always worth the chase. Too many wildest dreams for pride to get in the way Yeah! yeah. Oh, well, thanks, man. Oh. oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. That's a great tip. Dude, that's, that's what I'm so talking about, dude. Impressive. God dang. Yeah, that's, that's so one of the... That's one of the hits they say, I guess. I uh, that's it. That is. <laughs> oh, no, that's a hit. Sometimes. What What's your favorite? Like, what's mm. one that you're like, man? I can't wait to play this one. Like, mm. at all your whole set list, like for the yeah. night. If you're so, picking two, give me two. Oh, okay, so this is. I mean, Canary for sure. Yeah, um, that's one of my favorites. As yeah, well. it's a good time. Uh, but our newest one, which is going to be uh, the newest single, actually coming out. Um, 
Late July, early August, still finalizing some details. Can you sneak um, peek us? Can we get oh, yeah, dude, for sure. Can, hold on, oh, can sweet. I do a radio voice, like exclusive? Mm -hmm. oh. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, I got to think. Let me get this <laughs> get right. It, get it, get it. 106.3, you the fucking country Oh, you want that? Goose. Okay, hold on. Let me hit record. I'm recording on my phone yes. here for oh, real. Because real Jordan Youngboys apparently doesn't have a camera. Oh, oh, yeah, he's, he he's out there recording. Oh, he is? Yeah. He is? Oh, yeah, get in here, Jordan. Shot, get yeah. in close, brother. Come on now. You're turning into 106.5 WCB The Cock. Here we are with Cody Christian live. <laughs> the studio sessions. I, the cock was unappropriate. Yeah, it's, I'm great. Sorry. it's great. It's great to be here on <laughs> the, the cock, boys. It's great to be here yeah. on the cock. I can't wait to diddle for you on this here guitar. God, <laughs> thanks for coming. Cock a diddle. Play our right. cock hard, Cody. Thanks oh, for being here. Yeah. I'm rock hard. Uh, I'm cock hard. <laughs> rock hard cocks for rock hard dudes. Rock and roll all fucking night. Let's go. And I'm Duke Dickel. Oh, he's here. Just kidding. No. He is here. He ain't here. Uh, he's here in spirit. <laughs> he's spirit. All, yeah. He's Steve's not. here in spirit. Always. I think I brought some of them back with me. So, I wish he was dead so he could be here in spirit. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! I don't really god wish damn. he was dead. Yeah, I wish he was dead so he could just follow me wherever I go. That'd be great. Because he would. <laughs> yeah, because he doesn't yeah, he anyway. Would. He for sure would follow you everywhere you go. Yeah, because no. Steve's not doing that already. I love it. No, he's not. Man, he's not here. I just, I followed him. <laughs> to be honest with you, this past few days, yeah, you did. Uh, yeah. So we're dropping this song later this summer. Um, this one, I think it's a fun one. It's kind of uh, goofy in a way, but the goal of it is to get picked up by Dare, uh, like the, the drugs. Yeah, the drug, the, <laughs> the anti drug, mm -hmm, drug abuse resistance experiment. Which um, is Dare still a thing? I think so, I think man. So. Yeah, I mean, it'd be it wouldn't Let's be do a drugs. Could you imagine if y'all had a podcast that played to every fifth grader in America? Wouldn't hurt, right? There's some fifth graders that listen. Yeah, so I'm strategic. Dare was was around when I was in school. Oh, oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Kept me off. Dare course. was a big deal. Yeah. No, yeah. that's not actually true, but that's what I tell people. No, just because it's something it to anyone, say from but... the stage. Uh, but the song is called Two Stoned in the City, um, which is just basically about if you uh, get real high and drive, like you could go to jail. It's, you know. it's a good warning. Yeah, that's really what it is, and it's it's what we've been closing with lately. Um, and... Uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Very educational. Yeah, I mean it's fun. So like this that. is an exclusive drop right now. Um, yeah, live leak. Yeah. So we got to drop like uh, DJ tags on this. Do, 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 do. This do, is do, a do. WCB exclusive drop. The cock. Listen to this track. You listening to the cock? One hundred four nine. Damn son, where yeah. you find this? The radio never changes every time I say it. By the way, yeah. it's one hundred six something. The rock. The, or the cock. Yeah, cock the diddle. Yeah. The yeah, <laughs> but yeah, man. No, I don't think there's any legal wrong problems with this. It can't hurt me. This technically may be the biggest, uh, make biggest gig I've ever had. You guys wow. have a lot of people that listen to this thing, right? I hope so. Because I, mean, I think the p most people I've ever had listen to me at a time was I don't know, a couple hundred. Oh no, we're beating that for sure. Oh, yeah, oh, you sound fucking couple great. Couple hundred, I know that. Yeah. Oh, we're. Uh... Well, the Lee Bryce show got canceled. That was supposed to be seven thousand. Oh, we're ten times in you right now, brother. Oh, good. I think, oh, good. I think, yeah, right. I think at yeah. least 40 people are going to hear this. Yeah, yeah, no there's pressure. like six goth chicks and like 400 <laughs> <You're> dudes. <the> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I meant to bring that up because like this is actually the perfect podcast for me because I am I imagine, and I don't want to be sexist here, but it probably is a lot of dudes. Mostly. Yeah. Yeah. Same with me, dude. My Spotify, it's mostly dudes. Yeah, it should be. Perfect. I mean, to a point, but... Like, it's just would, more cooler. chicks would be cooler. <laughs> yeah, it'd be cooler if it wasn't. <laughs> I would tell you right now, we're... Uh, we're not, we're not unhappy with our numbers, so things good. are good. Yeah, yeah. From what I've heard about music, is like you want to you want to get the women to like you, so that the men come to the show to check out the women. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Okay. Yeah. That we don't have only, that. Yeah, but if you only appeal to dudes, like I don't think there's many women that are like, hey, we, let's go to this dude bar. I figured it out. We <laughs> talked about it yesterday. You got to turn to a goth baddie. That's right. Yeah. Black lipstick. Yeah. Right. You're rocking. <laughs> Eyeliner. Eyeliner. That's yeah. Everything. Right. Yeah. That's right. That's how he shows up Saturday. So yeah, we I mean, Jesus. People are listening, but I don't know if it'd be your biggest gig, but it could be. No, I mean, it, it if if, you know, a fraction of your audience listens and yeah, I guess it would be the most. If you got a couple hundred, yeah. By average, we're 10 times in you right now, buddy. Beautiful. 
Uh, this song's called Two Stoned in the City. It's a cautionary tale. You ought not to do stuff that's bad. Well, I got two stoned in the 804. I was smoking on the devil's grass. My buddy said I couldn't stand no more That I needed to drive back On the thought that I had running through my head Was I was hell-bent on sleeping in my bed And about the time I hit the county line Doing 15 in a 45 And <laughs> under my seat was loaded nine And in the rear view I saw the flashing lights Well, I got to Stoned in the city, I got to stoned in the city. I got to stoned in the city. And now I'm sleeping in the county jail. Another guitar solo part. Said on roll your window down as he was tapping on the glass. He said, Son, what the hell you done? Your eyes are redder than the devil's ass. <laughs> well, hey. he pulled me out the car, cuffs on my hands. Now I gotta live with a consequence. We drove up to the station and pulled around the back, and the jailer rolled out that old welcome mat. They took my fingerprints the camera flashed next thing i know they were slamming the latch well i got two stoned in the city i got two stoned in the city i got two stoned in the city now i'm sleeping in the county jail tall lean in me he said son how do you plead i said lord have some mercy that's when he went through the book at me but i woke up sweating at my buddies i was thanking god that it was all a dream so today I can stand before you, really sit down before you as a free man out here in, where are we, New Windsor, Illinois, on the working class bow on a podcast with all of you fine people, and I can sing that if you get to stone in the city, Bet you, you get damn. to stone in the city. If you get to stoned in the city, well then it's best. If you get to stoned in the city, if you get to stoned in the city, if you get to stoned in the city, well then it's best. If you don't leave. Well, that's oh. two stone in the city. It's going to be out. We're cutting that clip for sure. Damn, that's a fun yeah, one. Yeah, July or August or something. We'll see how it goes, man. That is a fun song. I, I like that. It, it I is like fun. That. It's my worst nightmare is what it is. It, yeah. It's a lot of people's, honestly. But <laughs> Oh, that's awesome. A little yeah. anxiety is nice, though. Yeah, fun. so this is, check. this is the first thing that I've really done where... I guess I've been stubborn the whole time in the music thing, you know, with the whole social media and TikTok and stuff and... So like with TikTok and music, like you gotta, it seems like you gotta get on these algorithms and trends, and a lot of times it looks like you know dudes like lip syncing yeah. the song, and I'm like, and they're like, Cody, that's that's what you gotta do. Like if you want views and if you want you know 
booking agents look at you they only care about social media so you got to get your views and your numbers up so you got to do this algorithm shit and i was like well i was like man if i got to put out 25 videos you know that are 15 to 20 seconds long to promote this song like i'm not going to do it in a way that makes me hate myself yeah, do it in an organic way. Yeah. yeah. Do the so, WCB podcast. We'll cut some clips. Yeah, we're going to do that. Well, I've already done some filming and stuff, too, where we just ran through the city of Richmond. Uh, two of the guys in my band, Andrew and Severn, dressed like police, and they're just chasing me through the city. And we're <laughs> yeah. just little 15, 20 second clips, you know, jumping out of dumpsters and like <laughs> Three Stooges style. But we'll see. We're doing a, we're trying to do a real social media effort for the single and see what happens. For that song. You got to do it. Yeah, for that song. Oh, it's great. I it, thought it was great. Nice. Social media is so gay, but you got to fucking play the game, dude. Otherwise, you're going to be game. lagging behind. Yeah, you got to play to the game. Point. But the thing to is, if you, if you play the same game as everybody else, we're already too late. Yeah, yeah right. for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's like, well, if you're chasing an algorithm, you're already late. You got to be the... It's got to do what That's you do. You got to yeah. start the algorithm. Yeah. Yeah, I, you got to start it. Honestly, yeah. some of my favorite content that I was like, oh, this is going to be the one was like with a the when when a uh, Duke Dickel interviewed Steve. Yeah. Yeah. The last, I was like, dude, that's hilarious. I thought it was funny. <laughs> oh, it was funny. It was fucking shit. hilarious. Know, it was some shit hits, some yeah. doesn't. Yeah, and then know? the Oliver Anthony stuff, I was like, for sure, this is the one. Yeah. Budge round, backstage, no, didn't hit, man. Dude, there's some God, weird man. shit. I like, know. I did. I just did. Uh, we cut a clip one time of me just like sound checking a microphone, like one of those wireless mics. I'm like, <laughs> that's it fucking most viewed <laughs> fucking why? video on my instagram I'm like i don't know like just dumb shit I like think, that i think uh, listeners don't take this the wrong way but i think people are dumber than we think a hundred oh, oh i agree you know yeah I mean? they're about as dumb as i yeah. think they are and i'm not <laughs> saying we're, we're <laughs> smart right? we're dumb no. too oh, yeah, yeah for sure I'm, I'm an idiot we're idiots yeah. i think yeah. we just sometimes i, I <laughs> overthink things and maybe that's it you know it's like you just gotta be i laugh at silly the or dumbest something. shit Dude, i can tell you that this is a sure. silly son of a bitch <laughs> I, gotta a silly say, I gotta say this is pretty cool experience right now this is awesome like, we got top tier cool music in the studio and like we're just it sounds so good. At Dude, least through our heads. It sounds so good. Yeah. You just record that song, throw it on a freaking album. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. That's <laughs> WCB <laughs> studio session. My man. ears are hard. Yeah, vinyl. Yeah. 1065 WCB the cock. Mm. Mm. We should put yeah. that in on vinyl. The cock stream. WCB the cock. The cock. <laughs> WCB the cock. Working cock boys. The cock. I what don't understand do? why it's a lot of dudes that would like this. I don't. The podcast, yeah. I don't. Why is it just dudes? Normally, just dudes. I don't understand. I mean, dude, they're they're, 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 the boys are the boys. Full disclosure, that was real sarcastic. I mean, I get it. We just said (laughs) 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 it makes sense. There is there is some chicks that listen. (laughs) There are. are. There's There's like yeah. There's chicks coming. Fifteen. Now we probably got fifteen chicks, hardcore badass chicks for sure. For sure. One of them's out there. Yeah, they're listening right now. Yeah, I I see you listening. You're cute. Uh huh. I see you. You're cute. Feel good about yourself. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Yeah. You're doing great. All girls that listen to this get 10% cuter. Yeah. Yeah, easily. And that's just facts. I mean, we're not. Yeah. I queens. Mean, queens. Yeah. <laughs> Go off, queens. Mm. You know what I mean? Queen. Can we play a song for the ladies, Cody? Maybe we give a shout to the yeah, ladies. Oh, a little bit. Maybe a canary in a coal mine. Man. Working ourselves to death for the ladies. Yeah. I was about to say, I was like, man, I don't. You know, I was brought to my attention. Someone's like, "You need love songs." Like, I don't really have any. So, yeah, that's a great <laughs> really song yeah, for the ladies. Well, if you don't have a love song, do a spring break song. Is yeah. "Canary in a Coal Mine" really a good song for the ladies? I think it's a good song for everybody. For everybody. Hopefully, the ladies too. I'm sure that they got jobs that they don't like. Yeah. So is that what is that what we're doing? Canary, canary. I'd love to hear canary. 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 What, what kind of bird is a canary? Uh, a canary. It's a white one. Yellow. Well, I think there's a lot of different kinds of colors. There's like a canary, I think, is like a canary yellow. Is yellow. You got like it's for sure a bird. Subsets of canary that um, I didn't do species. extensive research, really. I, I mean, not into the bird itself, but I did the the process. Because, it's a bird with wings. Yeah. Was, uh, did you try different eh. birds in the front of that? Blue well, Jay. no, the Robin. He's a cardinal. A cardinal. I'm not gonna lie. Honestly, I do. Mine. I heard uh, it was Joe Rogan actually on a podcast talking. I I heard him say, you know, canary in a coal mine. I was like, oh yeah, that is a phrase thing. I'm like, yeah, it's it a is. pretty cool one. I was like, there's got to be a yeah, but like flamingo in a coal mine don't doesn't make no. sense. No ostrich. Well, I mean, do you know why it's canary? <laughs> like, do you know the the reason? Why it's canary and not a flamingo or not a penguin? Why? 
I would. I th- my dove. My take on it was a canary is this bright yellow like, uh, flagrant bird that goes into Sign a dark place hope. and flies out free. Oh. Out of the darkness. I mean, that's a beautiful image, but no, that's not. <laughs> oh what it's no, about. what is it then? I'm wrong, but that's oh, what I was. Well, about. no, I mean, that's a really good analogy. I mean, about you know how it w- can work out for some of them, but no. So back in the day, in coal mining times, pre-technology, um, then I guess gases would build up real bad down there, uh, and people would die. So what they would do was send a bird down there in a cage and then bring the cage back up. I guess they probably had some kind of rope system or something. And like, if the bird was dead, that's how they knew like, oh, we shouldn't send people down there. Oh. Yeah. So that's where was... the term came from. Like a canary in a coal mine is basically like a, you know, a just sense. sacrificing something that don't really matter to them. Oh, interesting. Yeah. So yeah, that's I thought it was I... more of like getting out of a dark place and being free. Yeah. Well, it could be if one breaks loose. Like but... death. Like death to it was like you're right. free from the coal mine. Yeah. That's well, what I always viewed it as. And I always looked at it like, you know, the first couple of verses of this song are like, you know, how can I compare myself to this bird? Be like, well, I'm working at this shipyard where, you know, one of these hydraulic rams could, you know, knock my head off any moment. And then they're just, you know, I'm 85461. That's my number there. And they'll find somebody else tomorrow. Yep. Mm. Just another number. You know, yeah. So See, it like, goes to our point with the music video thing is it doesn't necessarily matter how literal it is as long as yeah, it's a song. For sure. Faux show, but this is one of my favorite ones. Um, I like it, it's my favorite. I love it, I like it too. You know, this song's called Canary like in a Coal too. Mine, and it's all about birds. <laughs> That's why I love it's it so much. The birds. government project called Birds. <laughs> you guys in live shows but I do it pretty much all the time because now it's just part of the song but this is about my first trip to Nashville Tennessee where I met with a producer gentleman he uh, somehow got connected with me said Cody I like your songs they're great I think if you come down to Nashville and cut a record with me with your beautiful songs we can make millions and millions of dollars you can buy your mom a boat you can buy your dad too I'm getting a boat. We're getting rich, buddy. Just come down to Nashville and 
and cut this record. We're going to do it at the best studios with the best musicians in the world. And then he proceeded me to show me around one of the most expensive studios in the world. And he said, Cody, this once in a lifetime opportunity is only going to cost you $80,000. Pretty good bargain, I thought. (laughs) I said, man, that makes a lot of sense. (laughs) That's uh, a lot of good product uh, for a lot of good outcome, man. Um, So who's paying for this thing? And he's like, well, you are. (laughs) Of course. I was like, oh, I misunderstood. (laughs) What about the boats? (laughs) What about the boats? Can I still get get one boat? (laughs) How am I going to get a boat? But uh, No, so I didn't have $80,000 at the time, and I still don't. Maybe I never will. But if I do, I'm not going to give it to that guy. (laughs) So this third verse is all about being careful with your money in Nashville, Tennessee. Don't be a bird. Don't let them put you in a cave. Don't die because of the gases. I left my babies with grandma to give Nashville a go. Labels love me. They promise money. All they needed was my soul. Sign of 360. On TV, boy, you're gonna be a star. I said, Hell no, I want some control. Ain't working for the man no more. I won't be a canary in a coal mine that'll never fly again. I'll stay in the blue sky to make way for honest men. No, there ain't no king gonna cut these wings. Sing until I'm dead Making pennies on a dollar Ain't no way to meet an end Got it so good. And that's the title track off of uh, Holy Balls. That rule. It's great. Thanks. So good. The crowd work, everything is just money. Dude. Yeah. Well, man, that you know, that's that's what you get playing uh, you know, in crappy bars in front of your friends or uh people that don't care, you know. You, it, well, yeah. you gotta do that stuff, right? It's like brings the personality yeah. with you. Well, yeah, if the song mm-hmm. ain't getting them, you gotta make up something that might. Yeah, yeah, you know? right, right. Yeah, dude, I used to lie all the time to get money from people. It was great. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? You're entertaining, though. That's like it's part of the gig. Like, that's, yeah, I mean, that's what you I are at the it. end of the day. I mean, you guys get, I mean, you got a podcast. Like, you make a living because people spend their time listening to you. Yeah. 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 So that's well, all anybody's doing, man, whether you're making donuts or something. Like, people are going to spend their time to, you know, that's that's all it is. You're just. Well, there's a couple of ways to slice it. I like, do like donuts. You know, when when we when we look at our industry, right, the way you're looking at like what you're doing in your industry, it, it could be playing, like you said, someone just wants to eat their chicken, and you're playing, right. so you make what you got out of it. Right now, we're we're in a hunting realm; it's the off season. Mm-hmm. People are listening, but there's less people listening now. But the now than they will be in November. But right. The thing is, we've been mixing it up and trying to bring something new to the table, more for entertainment rather than like a hunting tip. Yeah, and because so, I don't, I don't have any of those. So, Cody, tell us how you hunt scrapes. Yeah, yeah. This is a song I wrote about scrapes. Well, yeah. I do know that if they're <laughs> around, it's on it. that'd be sick. It's a good sign if you see them. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if yeah. you see them, you're doing all right. Yeah, if there's some scrapes around, like, well, there was a deer at some point. It's got to be a monster. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the, a deer yeah. was there. There's been yeah. a deer here, yeah. <laughs> and that's honest. <laughs> yeah. Or it's my mock scrape. Yeah, or it's, <laughs> it's Jacob peeing in the old deer. Brown guy, mud of a the old squash scrape. Ooh. Didn't see that coming, did you? But I guess what I'm getting at is, uh, you know, we've done a lot of episodes and we're having fun mixing it up, and we can be oh, yeah. in the hunting realm and entertain hunters. Yeah. Mixing it up's fun. Do you guys? I mean, y'all listen to Barstool? Yeah. So I listen to part of my take a lot, and honestly, some of the best. Ep- well, not the best, but like in July when no sports are going on or something. And they're just, I don't know. Riffing? Yeah, ranking, uh, you know, the best fast food or something. Just dumb stuff. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's but fun. I was, but I also listen to a lot of podcasts, so. Yeah. It's just good fun. It doesn't have oh, to be. Yeah. Here's the thing. It doesn't have to be hunting. If we were all tips all the time, it's like taking medicine. And that's annoying. 
Yeah. Yeah, nobody really likes their doctor. No, fuck no. You go there because you have it. <laughs> you imagine? Yeah. Unless you're <laughs> you know, a little weird, you're going day? there to get checked for, get your colon checked like every other week, like mm. Doug. Every uh, other this week? This is what you're doing. My wiener? No, you're colon. You're colon. Both. Your butt. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Doug's getting his butt <laughs> checked butt. every two weeks. Colon cancer's a serious thing. Get it checked. That's true. <laughs> Thank you for that, Doug. Every other week. <laughs> yeah. Every other week. <laughs> <season. laughs> <laughs> I always knew he was smiling on Tuesdays. <laughs> Pretty frequent. <laughs> Every other dude. You can never, never be too careful. You never know what it's going to sneak up on you. Start out being careful. Turns out I just like it. <laughs> I don't know. That's true. I mean, it's got to start sometime. <laughs> There's you might as well. There's somewhere. <laughs> yeah. Keep looking, Doc. Keep looking. <laughs> Come on now. Don't be shy. <laughs> I'll be back in two weeks. No, you can't say that. All right. Mm. You started it. No, you took it too far. <laughs> It was just a funny joke that could have just simmered out to another song that Cody was going to play. Yeah. And you just... Now, now, this is my next song. Now Cole I'm putting my guitar up. Yeah, now I know. How much oh, that's follow funny. That, Doug? No, you can't. You can't follow that. Gosh. I'm sorry. I ruined your song. It's all right. Dude, no. what a fun... Sorry I ruined your party. What a fun thing. This is yeah. fun. This is awesome. And it sound, to us, it sounds good. I hope it translates on audio, but in the headset, it sounds... Oh, it sounded incredible. amazing. How's it sound to you when you're playing? Does it, like, translate? Yeah, I mean, it's good, I think. Yeah, I think everything good. was coming through. I mean, if uh, sounds great, I think it ought to be okay. Maybe I don't mm-hmm. know. Also, not an audio guy, so sounds good to me. And I walk through life ignorant. You don't need things. it when you got a voice like that. And a drummer, man, he's the guy that understands all that stuff. Mm. Yeah, you got you. Get, you have a good band. They're, they're, you do. Oh yeah, dude. I got some good dudes, man. Anybody that can, you know, go to Illinois and back is a good person. Yeah. It, how you far drive to them? Illinois is it? Dude, I think it was 12 hours, maybe 11 or 12 hours. And last year when we did it, man, I was so mad because I got outvoted three out of the five guys right after we played surprised me. And they're like, we want to go home tonight. I'm like, what? It was like 1230. You want to start this? Yeah, they did. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Cook it. Democracy. <sighs> what the fuck? That was Vandra Bullock's <laughs> first trip, too. Vandra Bullock. My too. new van, yeah. <laughs> that's funny. That it's pretty good, right? That's, yeah, good. that's, good. that's yeah. good. I like that. Thank that's, that's a well, great fucking name. I, ha- I have a request. Yep. What's up? And then I want you to just pl- shamelessly plug the shit out of everything you need to plug. Okay. I want one more song. Okay. Before we go. Okay. I want Dream Holler Chase. Oh, good. Okay. I was hoping I was hoping it was going to be one that I knew. Okay. <laughs> it's, it's, uh, I feel like a more recent... Yeah. Popular song. Yeah, it's, and it's one that I wrote, so I do... Okay, good. Okay. So, um, <laughs> I do know it. <laughs> yeah. I did always get booed off a of stage one time for not knowing Dick Down in Dallas. Oh, do you play that song often? No, I've never played it. And these people just wanted me to play it, and I was like, I don't know it. Like, but you just tried it? No, I didn't try it. Come on, Jukebox, play. I refused. <laughs> Well, because it, it was Greenville, North Carolina. It's like a college bar, and oh, you know, so there's some younger younger girls. And I'm like, what? What does your father think about you just screaming at me? Yeah, play Dick Down in Dallas. You know, cocaine country yeah. dancing. Oh, I do know. Cocaine. Can you can we get that one after this one? Oh, can we, yeah, can yeah, we do two yeah. songs? I don't know how that'll turn. just me on the acoustic. It's not. Yeah. Cool. It's oh, not as cool. Oh, is it, will it not work? Not as good. Not as good. But would it be worth trying? <sighs> I mean, it's your show. Uh, You're the I'm inclined to say it's not the best, but because that one requires a lot of groove. Baby. Mm-hmm. A lot of fun. Yeah, we're not going to force you to do. Yeah, you can't. You can't, you can't play that song sitting down. Yeah, well, you don't have the soul. Plus, we don't have cocaine. Well, yeah, your bathroom yeah. said not to. So we, we don't got, have enough soul to play touche. cocaine country dancing. I I do, but it. You need like funk and a bat, you know. It's yeah, like, I hear it. I hear it. It's a, like, it's, a it's a process, you know. It's yeah, like, it's a thing we wouldn't understand. Well, yeah, it's all on the shoulders, uh, mm. really. Mm-hmm. But so, "Dream Holler Chase" was a song that I loosely based off of my dog uh, that I grew up with. Um, I mean, I really fuse like two dogs that I grew up with. Um, but it's about a dog named Radar. I had a tail that would spin in circles and. Uh, the way that I say it, uh, talking about this song, is that he would run away for days at a time. Um, you know, like day two or three as a kid, I'm like, where did my dog go? What happened to my dog? 
And uh, I mean, as I got older, I realized what they were doing. You know, probably having sex with other dogs. <laughs> 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 if we're being honest, but as a kid. I, I just like, from, I just think of the scene from Joe Dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Where's yeah. that damn dog? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go but, get help. <laughs> but as a kid, I had a much more innocent mind, and I was like, well, maybe he's out there chasing a bear or something cool. So <laughs> this song's all about speculating about what dogs do when they run away. <laughs> <sighs> I've also... No, that's not worth saying. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind. Radar was a red bone hound from Powhatan County. Born in a barrel in the coldest winter that my grandpa had ever seen. He came out the run of the litter, he was skin, bones, and meat. His legs would stay running when he's sleeping, he's chasing demons in his dreams. He could let out a holler, shake the hardwoods harder than a cat to hurricane. Let him holler. In the dead of night, you can hear it. The lonesome cries of a hungry hound hell bent on running down everything he wants. Till it's found he was made To dream, holler and chase Blood in the air, he can smell it It brings a boil into his veins Treat a black bear and maidens 13 miles and a river away He did more than just poke the bear So he wound up whipped and bit But one thing about an old red bone hound Is those dogs ain't got no quit No In the dead of night you can hear it The lonesome cries of a hungry hound Hellbent running down everything he wants Until it's found he was made To dream, holler and chase Down to things I don't easily found Holler till the whole world hears the sound Dream so big there's no time to sleep What if I had a little hound in me I've faced my bears I've shown my teeth I've lost a few fights That made me bleed But a hound is a hound Can't change its ways And there ain't no doubt Some things were made Holler and chase Radar was a red bone hound from Powhatan County. Word. Dude, thanks, nice, man. It's so good, man. So good. Yeah. Why not? Man, thank you so much you, for this. Oh, well, thank you, dude. That was yeah, incredible. That's awesome. Oh, that's the biggest show I've ever played. It was so good. Cool. This dude, w- you're a star, brother. I'm a star, you're talented. I'm a star. You're you're cool. You're talented. 
You're down to earth. You you got it all, brother. It's just you're slick you, with it. Mm-hmm. It's just being you discovered. That's well, all. Well, I'm afraid of heights, buddy. We got to be down here. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Got to stay low. Dude. All, right. <laughs> all right, cool. Well, all right, see you later. Yeah. It's a uh, it's, dude. Really, it's uh, we believe in you, man. Um, Thanks, obviously, man. you have undeniable talent. You have undeniable personality. You're cool. Mm. You got it going on, man. And uh, we just hope the best for you. We Thanks, hope this helps. Man. We hope we hope you get discovered. We hope you make it big and every, all your music dreams come true. And oh, I, I think they're coming true. Yeah, man. I mean, definitely. I don't I don't know what the end goal is, but I mean, it's, you know, it's, it seems like it's going good, you know. We hope you make it and never talk to us again. Not homeless. <laughs> yeah, I hope you get yeah. so big you forget about yeah, us. Yeah, dude, I can't wait to never come back. <laughs> <laughs> I don't blame uh, you. Yeah. I don't blame you at all. I don't blame no. you at all. Yeah. No, man. Thank you guys for real. Uh, I mean, it, it meant a lot when I quit my job and one of the first things was, you know, Hey, dude, we're out here in Illinois. Honey we're out here in Illinois. Hey, come on the show anytime. <laughs> yeah, we're a bow hunting podcast. But look, it's people, though, man. I mean, it's people, and it's people that, in theory, should be my demographic, you know, of yeah. preferred listener, because it is dudes. It is your demographic. It is yeah. dudes. And, uh, you know, that's where you got to start. To dudes. Just with the dudes. <laughs> that's right. Dudes and six goth chicks. Yeah. Yeah. Working class bow hunter and Cody Christian for the dudes. For the homies. In Illinois. You're listening to Illinois. 106.5, the cock. The cock in Illinois. <laughs> Illinois. <laughs> it is good to be back in Illinois. The Illinois. Illinois cock. loves you, man. Yeah. Does anybody else say it like that yet? No. I no. say it. Just I you. say it all the time it's, now, ever since you did. Yeah. On I was stage, like, I, like the first yeah, thing you said. Yeah. And we're like, holy shit. Yeah, I love That's that. That's fucking brilliant. Yeah, and I say it all the time. Illinois. Fancy Illinois. Illinois. Yeah, it's like Illinois without JB Pritzker. Yeah, that fucking fat right. faggot. Fuck that guy. Yeah, he's a fat fucking <laughs> loser. Oh, I'll say it. Lord. I'll say oh, it. He's Lord. from Chicago. Oh Lord. Yeah. I like him. No, 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 we don't like JB. <laughs> Dude, about no, we don't he, like him. He comes from a long line of Fags. mafiosos and gay wads. Well, yeah, that's true. Yeah, gay Italians. <laughs> Sorry for ruining your podcast with all the gay talk. Uh, <laughs> just a bunch sorry. of dudes here anyway. <laughs> so you're, so you're your podcast. I'm sorry. Up. I'm sorry for ruining yours with my straightness. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. and your beautiful voice. <laughs> sorry, dude. Mm. Uh, it, that this has been awesome. Dude, it yeah. has, no, thank you, man. It has been. It's a been good fantastic. Time. This is the Cody Christian podcast. I've been wanting for two years, over two years. Oh, we here. Yeah, I've been wanting to get here too. Just had to make sense, and now it does. Now we're gonna work you like a slave uh-huh. and make you sing in the studio. Why Jordan films you? Right, and uh, hopefully it's all worth it. I mean, hey man, I believe it will. And even if it isn't, it's a step in the right direction. Hey, mm-hmm. listen, no better, one, better no, one, it couldn't nothing. hurt. I've, right? I've said this three times a day. One with Jacob, one with Sean Ferguson from Trophy Line. And I'm gonna say it right now with our crew, the one thing no one can ever fucking call us is lazy. Mm. That's right. I'm pretty lazy. I, I doubt I, that. I, I would say no. Right. I'd say you can relax when you want, but here's the thing is anything you're doing and what we're doing, everyone wants to do it. Yeah. And what stands out is people going for it. Mm-hmm. And if you're lazy, no one ever sees it. That is half the battle. It's just doing it. Just doing it. Yeah. Just doing her. That's Try what Doug it. does. He just does it. Just does it. Shia LaBeouf. He just does best. it. I grew up and I saw a Nike slogan and I said, I'm going to do that. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. He just dug it. And he mm-hmm. did it. Did it. Doug did it. Did Doug it. did it. Up. Mm-hmm. Doug, what do you got, brother? Uh, nothing. Thanks for coming. Um, if you guys want to hear another version of Cody Christian's podcast, doing a podcast, <laughs> I would do one with Steve's Patreon. Oh. So. I heard the Patreon one's a little wild. Yeah. Yeah. Mainly Steve, but. It's behind yeah, the paywall. I mean, I tried to, you know, <laughs> I tried to keep up. Uh, uh, what's not talk about murder? Yeah, not you know. I didn't. I'm not the one that brought up messing yeah. with his wife. That's all, Steve. For the record. Okay, well, I'll talk about the dumb Patreon. You can sign up. Hot damn. At our website, workingclassbrunner.com. Click it's the a, Patreon. It is really good. Yeah, one, but if it you do funny. listen to the Patreon, whatever you do, don't clip it and don't share it to Lee Bryce. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, that didn't help. All right. All right. Well, yeah. Yeah. All right. Fair enough. That's definitely going to happen mm. now. Dots so connected. Turns out Lee right. Bryce actually tunes into the show fairly yeah. often. Uh, he, he just got the Patreon last week. I remember you yeah, said I saw that. Lee Bryce weird. sign up for that. Yeah. Well, so, he's only shit. a dollar member. He's not going to get the thoughts. Oh, okay. Yeah, well, gotcha. he might. Uh, he might upgrade. Or, after seeing Cody on there. He'll finally... It'll buff out. He'll be fine. He's fine. Find out who I am, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good hey, point. Yeah. That's good, though. 
Hey, <laughs> this could be a good thing. Any publicity is good publicity. Hey, listen, that's right. Yeah. Are you here to get known or not? You know, that's a good point. I, I talked to a lot of people. I was like, when I go on here, like, what should we say? I'm like, well, this would be a really bad idea. But I was like, but it could be a good idea. Well, yeah. It's, I mean, life's a gamble. I like. You said you gotta cause a ruckus sometimes. So oh yeah, ruck it up. That's true. Ruck it up, baby. Yeah, thanks for coming, man. Bucky, yeah, what man. do you got? It's been good. Raw freaking talent. Mm, it's crazy. I mean, how cool is it to be able to just see him just, just play, dude? I mm. that was so much fun. Just a, it was awesome. Raw oh. fucking talent. Well, thanks for being here. These are usually the most uh, uncomfortable things to play at, but hey, we tried it. Was it un was it uncomfortable? Uh, no, I closed my eyes. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> Jacob, what are you feeling like right now? Oh, you, you know, grateful, blessed, um, yeah, all well, those things. Mm -hmm. Great hashtag things. Hashtag blessed. Re revived. Hashtag blessed, you know. Um, no, uh, for real, this has been great. I, that was awesome, dude. Awesome. You rule. You're fucking super good at what you do. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you didn't shave your beard. Uh, me too, man. It'd be a real bummer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it I'm, I'm glad that I'm <laughs> glad that, <laughs> I'm so really, glad that was the hill you decided to die on. Honestly, that maybe would have ruined my career if I did shave cuz it just wouldn't have been good. Yeah. Like, what a creep. I'm not working with him. Well, not fire you anyway. Dude, I already had <laughs> shirts like with my face on it and like I got a beard. It's like it's, I can't you can't go back from How am I going to sell these shirts? shirts? Yeah, this yeah. the shirt. Yeah. Well, yeah. Like you should have a shirt with someone else's face on yeah. it. Yeah, who is this? Yeah. Who's yeah. this guy? Is this a random person? Your boss, your boss knew about the shirt? Oh, yeah. They all knew. Yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. They all had him. He, Fucking he cowards. Wearing yeah. it, he was wearing it when he fired me. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice shirt, man. Yeah, it turns out you're fucked. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Er Amen. Eric, what do you got? No, man. Thanks for coming out. I'm glad you're back in the old uh, Illinois. And yeah, it could be a good weekend. Is that all you had to say? I, you don't want to talk about how cool I am or anything like that. <laughs> You're pretty cool. What the hell, Eric? I was about to say, dude. I thought that you would be the one. Yeah, fluff them, Eric. Come on now. <sighs> all your songs are great. Gas them up. Thanks, man. I love them. Thanks, dude. I hope You're we hot. see you more often. He's on E. Fill them up. Hot boy status. Mm. Mm. I'll gas you up right now. Well, to all the dudes out there, dude, are you, you looking forward to playing the shoot? Uh very much so, man. I am. I, yeah, it's always a good time getting out here. Illinois loves light beer and having a good time. Uh, we do love light beer. I know, dude. Was I that love, shade? I no, not uh, at all. I love. Seems like you a do. little shade. Seems kind of like, like the shade. way you just said light beer. Yeah. Like, no, yeah, I prefer light. that because like Virginia, like they're IPA guys, and it just oh, yeah, yeah. It's fucking gay. gross. Yeah. yeah, no, that's what I'm saying, dude. So uh, no, I love it. Yeah, yeah. I don't got time for that. We'll this bar will be back, man. it'll be off. more of a crowd. I love it. The Illinois deer and beer is there's more space. Yeah. This will be. They got nowhere to go. This will be in your no. face, trapped. It's like yeah. it's like a high fence concert. <laughs> if you call in for a circle pit, everyone's fucked. Yeah. They got to listen to me. They have to. Well, so I'm going to announce my Congress run. That's right. <laughs> you should do that. I'll be oh, I'll be front row, hammer drunk. <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Can't wait. I'm wearing inner shirt. WCB wristbands, <laughs> getting free drinks. By, by the way, we didn't add that part in. If you come to the shoot, if you come sweet talk me enough, I give you a wristband for free drinks. Ooh. So you better like make that? some love. Yeah, I, the we thing is, like, I do thing. have a job. Like, I can't. I do need to be careful. I mean, it's never really a problem. But listen, you guys, you can are, have a good time. But I'm saying the the crowd is going to be having a lot of fun. Right? Yeah, no, mm -hmm. yeah. You guys are easy to have fun with. That's true. But the crowd will have free drinks. Beautiful. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. You yeah. can have one or two. Yeah. I'll lubricate. Yeah, you got to right. Social. Got to grease the wheels. Good for the throat. Yeah. Like changing the oil, dude. What Ooh. do you got to plug? What do you want to Every close out? Forty-five with? minutes. Um. Well, like I said, we got the new single dropping at some point. Um, in early August, late July, something like that. Uh, and after that, the plan is to follow it up with some singles, man. But I mean, working on getting more active on the Rizzoed. So, you know, hopefully coming to a town near whoever's listening. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But yeah, man. We, if somebody yeah. wants to get a, in contact with you, what's the best way? If somebody wants to get in contact with me, the best way is via email, um, which is, I mean, well, I mean, I got Instagram, Facebook, all that stuff if you want to follow me. But if like, you want me to do something, you should email. Uh, it's info at CodyChristianMusic.com. Paid extra for that one. <laughs> <laughs> um, Reply all. Okay. Yeah. 
Um, yeah, man. We're on all the social medias. Cody Christian Music. Uh, I say all of them. Instagram, Facebook, TikTok. Got to gotta be on that TikTok. Yeah. You know, I like to, I like to think that we do a lot of interesting things other than music. You know, just to, mm-hmm. yeah, I like yeah. That. You do a lot of content. I like to consider myself a marketing genius. The world just doesn't know yet. They'll find it. Yeah, they'll, they'll figure it out. It. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All the info um, we'll put in the description. So if they're lazy, they can get um, in, the, in the episode description. Are your tour dates on your website? or? Uh, I do have a bands in town. Um, my website is actually currently under construction, uh, being redone, <laughs> because uh, well, the other model just sucked, and I can't code, so... Somebody else will. I huh. couldn't. I couldn't update the dates, so we got to get a new. Uh, <laughs> didn't know that. <laughs> yeah, I didn't know that I was going to have to https dot whack whack everything. Yeah. <laughs> if I was going to tell people I was playing somewhere, so we're getting something more user friendly, so that I can update a website. <clears throat> cool. Well, thanks, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, man, dude. Thank you, guys. You jam. Yeah. You're talented. It's impressive. Yeah. Appreciate well, you. You're welcome back anytime, dude. Thanks, man. And Ellen Noir. WCB Studio Sessions. We didn't even talk about the giraffe that I shot. Well, we'll get to that next episode. Oh, oh there you go. I heard you wrote a song about it. In the works. Hey, you just thought you got to talk, tell the crowd about it Saturday night. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You didn't hear about a giraffe I shot. Yeah, it's This is a song about a giraffe. It's called Canary in a Coal Mine. Yeah, and I shot it. <laughs> it's called, yeah. I, also I actually, shot a giraffe. I actually do that. Like, people, they want a lot of requests. You know, they're like, can like, you go any Luke Combs? You know any Morgan Wallen? They're like, yeah, all right. This is a song called, uh, Beer never broke my heart, and then I'll just play Canary in a Coma. Wait a month right into a trap. Yeah. 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 Gotcha, bitch. Yeah. Love that. Yeah, man. Cool. cool. Thanks, cool. man. Appreciate you. Thank you, man. Thanks, guys, for being on this. This was a good time. Yeah, great. You time. know what to do. Go shoot your bow. Later. Shoot it. <laughs>